Okay, give me just a minute, guys. I would like to... There we go. Add that fun and funky little fundraiser that we have. In fact, let me just real quick raise the goal on that. Uh, so we actually have some... Oh, no, hang on. I didn't actually have a goal on it. Cool, go me. Never mind. All right, we're good. <clears throat> anyway... As I was saying, let's do some stream stuff. All right. Oh, actually, real quick. And let's just get rid of that. And there we go. Hey, everybody. So, whoops. How's everyone doing? Oh, right, I also got to tweet the link. Ugh, so much housekeeping I have to do. Ugh, truly mine is a life of suffering, tragedy, heartbreak. Constant difficulty. Where the hell is it? Ah, there it is. Cool. All right, let's just uh, copy that link. And uh, now streaming. Okay. So uh, today we did a little behind the scenes uh, housekeeping to figure out what exactly we're going to be doing for the big summer blowout charity stream we'll be doing later. And uh, we ended up concluding that. Um, uh, a lot of what I want to do kind of requires me to have some, you know, <laughs> hearts and stamps before we do anything. And we don't have any plans for the depths other than some, like, monster fighting challenges that we can do whenever because blood moons are a thing. Which means I have free reign to do a bunch of shrines and a bunch of depth stuff. And you all get to hang out while I do it. Um, I also have attached the uh, um, Entertainers Fund charity stream. Or, uh, Sorry, this is the charity stream. I have the attached the Entertainers Fund charity, which is uh, basically helping to uh, support the uh, actors and other people in the entertainment industry who are affected by the various ongoing strikes and are out of work and therefore cannot make money. So this is kind of helping support that. I mean, obviously, a lot of them have second jobs anyway because they were getting paid a pittance regardless. But uh, I just thought it would be fun and nice to have that going. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, the goal for this stream is we're going to, <clears throat> we're going to do a couple shrines, I think. We're going to, ooh, like that one over there, for instance. And we are going to do some depth stuff, because, uh, there's a lot of fun stuff down there. A lot of cool materials. A bit of a grocery run, you could say. Uh, and there's also just a bunch of armor sets down there. And, um, because we have free reign of the depths, and we're unlikely to be doing all that much depths traversal, uh, during the main stream... I figure it would be kind of fun to just sort of, you know, if we run into any, if we run into any armor sets, I'm, you know, I'm just going to let that happen. <laughs> I'm not going to deprive myself. Whoops. Please hold. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> everything's fine. See? We're back on the grocery run. Everything's going great. You can refight dungeon bosses down there. It's one of my favorite things to do. Can I? Nope. Okay. Uh, where did? Ah, there it is. I also figure there's a couple other things we could do. Might want to talk to Robbie, get the upgraded shrine sensor. You know how it is. <laughs> I guess we could try to fight a Frox. I've been um having uh fun with the uh. It's not a 100% file, but with my main file, I've been having fun uh, just sort of going around, grinding up against various bosses and monsters and all that jazz. Uh, and Froxes are kind of a cakewalk at that level, but I don't think they're going to be a cakewalk at this level. It is also a little bit terrifying when they jump, like, ceiling height. The, uh, the main trick that I've been using to deal with them is I've been, um... Uh... Getting up on their back. Well, first of all, I climb a really tall tree. I glide down, shoot them in the eye so they're stunned. Then I get up on their back, use whatever two-handed weapon I have to just spin to win, talus style, break all the things on their back that I can reach. When it starts getting a little feisty, getting a little wiggly, you jump with the paraglider. So when it launches you, you just kind of shoot upwards. Um, and then you can do another eye shot. Basically repeat until you're done. Oh, I remember this one. It's not the worst, but this is one of the more annoying shrines. <laughs> you guys ready for some shapes? Okay. Come on, just 
just jam it in there. Just really get, there we go, perfect. I'm a master. I also, in my other file, uh, got all the shrines, and I uh, got that ancient armor set you guys were talking about last time. And I have so many questions. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. I love it, but man, it's weird. Like, I thought I kind of understood what was going on, and then I didn't. <laughs> Thanks. I, I had no idea I was succeeding. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not exactly a, like a plot spoiler, because, uh, I mean, it's absolutely not necessary for the plot. You know, it's just kind of doing its own thing. Um, but it it's so weird but i also love it i love that it's like yeah this is it, you know before this game came out people were theorizing like oh uh maybe we're gonna get flashbacks to like the um the ten thousand years ago calamity you know the one in the mural the one that they made the divine beasts for that would be cool and we didn't get that uh except <laughs> that's what the ancient hero aspect armor is if you go talk to Impa wearing it, she'll be like, Oh, cool, you found the ancient hero aspect armor. You look almost like that ancient hero. You know, in my tapestry. And that's... That's all you get, baby! <laughs> that's it! Uh, let's see. Can I cheese this? I think I can cheese this. Oh, yeah. Oh, we are in the cheese zone, baby. Woohoo! Let me in. Yes! Alright, give me that tasty lorb. But yeah, so the interesting thing about the, uh, the ancient hero aspect, yeah, 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 it's in Prisons Purifies, uh, is that it, people are like, oh, it looks like, like a hybrid of a Hylian and a Zonai. And like, we know that, as, uh, we will find out when we do all the geoglyphs, uh, King Rauru and Queen Sonia boned down and produced the royal line of Hyrule, so, so, so all them Zeldas are or part Zonai. Very, very slight part. Which is cool. That's a neat thing that they have. A uh, little weird that they keep bringing it up, but, you know, who am I to judge? Uh, but, like... Oh, there's a shrine over there. Let's just get it. Let's just straight line this shit. Um, but the, the ancient hero aspect looks... It's so weird looking. He's bright green, for one thing. Got red hair, got a forehead gem. So a lot of people are like, oh, Secret Ganondorf? It's like, it's not Ganondorf. It looks like a... It's like a discount furry. He's a wolf man or something, but he's not Ganondorf. Um, but he's, like, got traits that don't match up with the Zonai. Uh, he's got digitigrade feet, for one thing, and the Zonai have weirdly normal people feet. Um, it's got a tail. The Zonai don't have tails. Uh, he's got kind of, like, a snout. And if you look at his, his like, foot paw things, like, it looks like wolf paws, is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that... The ancient hero is not as simple as, oh, it's like a hybrid Hylian Zonai. It's hybrid something else much weirder, and I love that because I was talking to Blue... Oh, nope, no thank you. I was talking to Blue about this because one of the things that we loved about um, Breath of the Wild is how mysterious it felt, you know? You got Zonai ruins everywhere, and it's like, oh, wow, Zonai ruins. What does that even mean? That's so wild. Um, and then, of course, in this game... Pretty much everything about the Zonai got thoroughly demystified. Like, there's still some questions. Like, where did the others all go? That's weird. Um, but like... <laughs> we kind of got all the answers we wanted. It's like, oh, what's up with the labyrinths? Oh, the Zonai made them. And they also have even more mysterious labyrinths. Where the hell did that shrine go? Did I miss it? Or is it hiding? Oh, I found it. It's just farther away than I expected. All right, we're good. Anyway, um, and, you know, with the Zonai sort of like, okay, yeah, we know how these guys work. Uh, there was sort of a, an absence of what, what I really liked about Breath of the Wild, which is how ancient and mysterious everything felt. Uh, one of Blue's first detailed diatribes was about that, and how, how Hyrule in Breath of the Wild feels so old. Like, it conceivably feels like the past of this world could contain every single Zelda game. Which is cool. That's a cool thing. Um, and a lot of that's kind of gone in Tears of the Kingdom, just because, you know, the Zonai are, like, the main 
gimmick of this game. Nothing wrong with that. Just means that we sort of end up with a, a certain lack of, uh, of what the fuck even is that? You know, stuff that just doesn't get an explanation, which Breath of the Wild had a lot of. Um, so I kind of like when they drop in little things that just tangentially imply the craziest shit. <laughs> um, so like, uh, we already did the very beginning of the Depths uh, statue thing. And in fact, we can do more of that uh, today. Um, but there's a chain of statues in the Depths that don't really look like any of the known races of Hyrule in Breath of the Wild and the Tears of the Kingdom. It's those dog guys. Uh, and I checked, the dog guys don't have tails either, so that doesn't answer the question about what the fuck the ancient hero even is. But like, this is, this is the kind of conspiracy board stuff that I love and that was all over the place in Breath of the Wild. There were so many videos about like, Secrets of the Zonai, the Barbarian Armor Set, what does it mean? And I loved those. And um, Tears of the Kingdom kind of answered a lot of those questions without replacing them with an, an equal number of other questions. So I like when they just drop in stuff that just implies whole other mysteries and then refuse to elaborate. I, I think that's awesome. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, hello. Whoop. Oh, I love the designs on these guys. Yeah, 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 okay. Need my instruction. Aim true and throw the material. Yeah, okay. Yep, okay. Well, this is what we signed up for, so it's all good. Camera. I know. Thank you. Okay, cool. Get Ow! Sir! I just got here. Whoop. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. All right, get it out of your system. There we go. Look at that. This is not the big stream. You will know the big stream. We'll announce it like a week in advance. We'll have guests. I won't be starting in the wee hours of the evening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, material at them. Whatever. <laughs> Victory. I've seen some people complain about how the shrines are kind of like weak sauce, but like, nah. Honestly, the shrines in Breath of the Wild were so often so annoying that I kind of really like that the shrines in Tears of the Kingdom are a little bit. Okay, give me. I want. I want it. But I want it. Oh, hold on. What am I doing? I have telekinesis. I have telekinesis. All right, give me. And I also want that bow. It's in the early stages of the game. I need everything I can get. Come on. Oh! Ha! Hello. Cool. Thanks. Uh... Get out of here. Oh, in fact... Uh... Yeah, why not? Let's see what happens. Improvise. Adapt. Come. Uh, oh man, I forgot about it. Ugh, everything's so weak because we're so early in the game! Okay, anyway. Let's get that lore, let's get whatever this is, and let's move on with our lives. <laughs> I do like that they sort of uh, miniaturized Eventide Island and made it just a shrine format because it's so funny walking into a shrine and like not really paying much attention and then looking up and being like, who took my pants? <laughs> yeah. Whew. All right, let's see. What are you guys up to? Go back to Lookout Landing to get more inventory slots. <gasps> Is Hestu at Lookout Landing? Oh, we should do that. I actually have Korok seeds for a change. <laughs> Let's make Red fight a Gloom Hand. <laughs> Shows what you know. I'm an expert at outrunning Gloom Hands. Oh, hold on. I'm sensing a traveler in peril. Oh, it's a little far. It's a little far. Ah, I think she's got this. 
Have no fear. I'll save you. Eh. Whoops. Well, we tried our best. That's okay. Hey. Hey. Stop making me waste my precious arrows. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What's up? If I were my prime. Even if it looks weak, a monster's still a monster. You've always got to stay on your guard. Uh... Look at you swooping in to save me in the nick of time all over again. Wait, have we met? Here, take this as thanks for helping me. I'm sure you'll like it. Ah, cool! Buttered stam bulb! Ah. The work of a dedicated treasure hunter never ends, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Mm. Lately, I've been really interested in the rubble and stones falling from the sky. I've even been dreaming about them. My latest dream? Hmm. Ah. This big stone came tumbling out of the sky and hit the ground, and then suddenly started to float back upwards. I grabbed onto it, and before I knew it, I'd arrived at an island in the sky full of treasure. Can you imagine? Anyway, that was basically the whole dream. Too good to be true, of course. Yeah, this is, uh, cool. All right, bye. Give me that shield. No. Uh, actually, I guess we're good on the shields department. Cool. Um. But uh, yes, we are. Uh, we're doing shrines this time. Uh, we we did a little housekeeping conversation today and figured out what we can and can't do. Uh, that will not be redundant with or. Uh, yeah, that won't reduce the impact of the uh, big, cool summer stream we're going to be doing later. And when we were sort of looking at the list of, like, fun challenges to do, we were kind of like, if we don't want to spend the entire stream, like, grinding up health, we probably need to, you know, do just a little bit of, like, prep work, get some hearts, get some stamina, get some inventory slots, get some weapons. All right, cool. Uh, whoops. Ah! You brought friends? That's okay. I'm armed enough for all of you. Oh, my, my arm broke off the thing. But I will absolutely take a beam emitter club. That looks incredibly dangerous. Uh, when, eh, eh. Gimme, thank you. And you. We don't need the long stick stick. We'll take that. Good. Whoops. Oh no, my... Ah, it's fine. Whoops. Huh. Why are these guys being harder to deal with? Then again, I actually kind of know what I'm doing now, so... Eh. Aha! Sniper duel. Matches my experience playing TF2 as well. Okay, anyway. Oh, I gotta be paying more attention to where shrines are. Um, oh man, I, I really... I am very much uh, a proponent of how can I loop this back to Twilight Princess somehow? <laughs> I think everyone's got their Zelda game that they're like, oh, criminally underutilized. Everybody should talk about this more. And, um, Twilight Princess is that for me. Did we kill- oh yeah, we killed two Taluses last time, I forgot about that, because it was the grocery run stream. Now I remember. Um, and the thing is, objectively, I know that the Zelda games are never actually that interconnected. You know, they'll, like, hint stuff. Hey, doesn't it feel like it's been one weird thing after another since the upheaval? The other day, my precious hammer, that I've loved and cared for since, well, since forever, just up and rotted. It was beyond fixing, so I slapped a rock onto a wooden stick and had me a new hammer. Hmm. Might not be pretty, but it beats a rotten old hammer any day of the week. All right, cool. Thanks, Nadin. Um, uh, anyway, so I'll, I'll keep being like, how can we how can we loop this back to Trial of Princess? And the answer is you can. Every Zelda game, it's it's kind of like different instances of the hero's journey myth theme, you know? It's, it's not the same hero every time. It's not the same world every time. It just kind of looks like it. But it's so fun to be like, but maybe the Twilight are banished Zonai, and that's where the Zonai went. <laughs> uh, but that's kind of the joy of a, a world that is this, like, this willing to leave questions unanswered. Because that means you can do all that theorization and uh, kind of have it be rewarding instead of the game being like, cool, wrong though. 
I respect the hell out of all the people who are like, maybe this will be the game where they put the Minish in. <laughs> it's like, anytime there's a game where there's a gimmick, and that gimmick is like the one thing, um, <gasps> there he is! But yeah, that gimmick is never showing up in another game, which is a shame. Shaka! Yeah. It's you! We meet again! Yeah. This place was built recently, huh? It's got a good vibe, and I figure it's safe since there are lots of people here. There's so many monsters all over these days, so I'm gonna stay here and relax for a while. <gasps> Wait, really? Is he just gonna be here? Oh, hang on a minute. Do you have a Korok seed? <laughs> you do! Yeah, uh, yes, please give me more inventory. I really need more inventory. <laughs> more weapons. Here you go, take my Korok seeds. Let the expansion begin! <laughs> Yes, good. It's all coming together. Mm-hmm. Yes. Expand my pouch. Here, take my course. And now I can actually read chat. Ah. I did not know this is where Hestu hangs out until you go to the forest. Uh, I took my sweet fucking time getting into the forest in my other playthrough, but like, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't know this is where I was <laughs> Oh, I'm so good at this game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I should think of, um, I should think of a donation goal for 5k. Um, I mean, I'm already planning on going to the depths at some point. So that feels... But, you know, that could be a good time to set it. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll focus on doing the shrines for now. And then, uh... Yes. Yeah, but, okay, come on. Um, then we can do some depths exploration. Set some light routes up. Possibly even explore some of those ancient mines. We can do that auto-build thing, actually. Oh, we should talk to Robbie. He has more stuff for us to do in the depths anyway. Who's your favorite Zelda villain? Majora, version of Ganondorf? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, I'll be honest, as much as I generally don't care for Skyward Sword, I really like Girahim. <laughs> He's got such style and flair. Ah, dang. I'm too broke on Korok poop. Alright, bye, Hestu. Let's talk to Robbie. Um... Oh, right, we should help out here. Oh, hello. <laughs> Who are you? Ah. I used to work at Rito Stable in Hebra. Had a good job taking care of horses. But the cold there kept getting colder and business got slower. In time, we had to close. Last I heard, the place had been bought by the Lucky Clover Gazette. Just when I was feeling a dray as if... Okay. Thank you. Fuck, what was it? Oh yeah, Girahim. Uh, <laughs> I just love his vibe. His energy. It's just a disaster. And honestly, endless respect for all the, uh... All the Zelda villains that only exist to resurrect Ganondorf and be immediately usurped in the third act. Hey, Robbie. Great job getting a picture of the figure that Joshua was looking for. She was pretty happy to see that statue. Here's his camera. Put a pad. Big update. A sensor that detects shrines. Act more impressed. <laughs> Can't set it up here. You look at landing at the Purapad Research Lab in Hateno Village. Purapad Research Lab. He's uh -huh. okay. Cool. Okay. That might be a little. Okay. Cool. So we have to do more of this anyway. Hey, Josha. What's up? Fragment is going to help us see the depths in a new way. Through my collection for more fragments, focus on the investigations that Doc... Wait, what investigations did Doc ask me to do? Uh-huh. 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 Uh, Josha? <laughs> I... Okay. 
All right, cool. I guess we'll just fuck off then. <laughs> um, have we not discovered this well yet? Good boy. Nice. Huh. <sighs> anyway, uh. Oh yeah, let me check my quest log actually. Oh, that's right. They want us to talk to Impa, and we're not gonna do that yet. And we're not gonna do the regional phenomena yet. We're not gonna. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, let's just leave that alone then. Uh, oh, perfect. I have exactly the tool for this. Hatcha! Cool, 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 cool. Refusing to seek out Impa again. What can I say? We've got a brand. <laughs> anyway, Impa and the Geoglyphs is like gonna be the main thrust of the uh, the big stream that we're gonna be doing later. You know, Forgotten Temple, all that jazz. So we're gonna be doing that, but that's gonna be like the main... Ah, sweet! It's gonna be like the main thing that we're gonna be doing. So, so I shan't pre-game that particular quest. Oh, uh -huh. hello everybody. Oh, I didn't mean to spook ya. Right, let's get out of here again. Honestly, I <laughs> I never climb ladders anymore. This game has ruined all other forms of transport for me. <laughs> Ascend is just too fun. Uh, you know what? Let's take the tower, and let's just let's just mark all the shrines that we can see from up there. We'll just do those. And then, uh, at some point, we're gonna head down into the depths and, uh, start getting into real trouble. Whee! Okay. Cool. Let's see. What do we got? I don't know when Josha figures out her stuff and lets us get the final rune. I know it's... Alright, let's see. That's a little bit nauseating, actually. Um... Hmm... I know there aren't many shrines in this starting area. Oh, I gotta watch my stands. Hello? Nope, that's just a weird rock. Uh oh. That's good. May as well do that. Oh! Aha! Yeah, I'll take that. And there's a few that are just- oh, my stands. There's a few that are marked on my map, too, that uh, we can just get at some point. Mm -hmm. I recommend going to Rito Village. You know, we did sort of strike off the possibility of doing the main dungeons during the big summer stream because they will take way too long. So it wouldn't actually be- the most disruptive to, you know, just do a little, little, you know, little stuff in the general vicinity of, ah, uh, I mean, but like, why though? Why, why would I, surely starting the main quest lines is not in the spirit of, uh, of making the big stream, like our, our first major encounter with the, oh, but it would be so fun. No, we're not going to do it. Not today, anyway. What's probably gonna happen is we're gonna use the... <laughs> I keep mashing buttons that aren't mapped to anything right now because... Because we're so early in the game! <laughs> uh, but anyway, obviously after we do the big summer stream, I'm probably gonna do more of these streams after that because I like this game. And that's what we did with Breath of the Wild and I had a really good time with that. Um, but... Aha! I knew it! I knew it was wiggling weird. Well, no thank you, sir. We'll have none of your shenaniganery today. Um, anyway, yeah, so the main uh, drive of the, uh, the charity stream is just going to be having a funky, fresh, good time, getting all the geoglyphs, which is basically getting the main plot, like, halfway done right then and there. And then it'll just be getting through this absolute monster of a game. <laughs> I wonder what the point of that is. Yeah. When is the big summer stream? Uh, I think 
third or fourth week in August. We're gonna lock in a date and announce it properly when we have a little bit more stuff sorted out. So. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh, uh, we when we started the stream, uh, there had already been 4.2k raised for the charity. Uh, just because this is a holdover from the last time that I streamed, I set up a little fundraiser for the uh, Entertainers Fund, which in on YouTube Giving is called the Actors Fund, but that's it's been renamed to more accurately reflect what the deal is. Um, ah, ah, okay. I really like how softball a lot of these early stream uh, early shrines are. <laughs> Anyway, yes, we are supporting a good cause, and I currently loosely have it so that when we hit 5k, I'm gonna head down into the depths. I mean, we're probably gonna do that anyway, but like, you know. It's nice to give myself... No, my bouncy bat is badly damaged! Cool. Alright, thank you. Oh, hello. Oh, hello! Well, that's interesting. I've definitely done this shrine before because I 100%ed all the shrines in another file, but for some reason. I've heard about this puzzle and I just haven't done it before. Alright, what do we got? Okay, this is pretty cool. It's nice. It's something. Alright. King Gliok rematch 6k. Uh, I don't know if we have the stamina to get to any of the- well, that's not true. I actually know where one of them is, uh, where we wouldn't need stamina at all to get there. We just need to navigate a part of the depths that is kind of far away. Do we need more fans? I think we need more fans. Ugh, fine. But I'm not gonna make it pretty. Yeah, how do you like them apples? Yeah! Oh, take that, physics. Cool. Alright, anyway. Whee! Will you or did you watch the Barbie movie? Not yet. I've heard it's good. That's cool. Obviously, the uh, discussion of movies and media has kind of been overshadowed in the last couple weeks. Like, obviously, Barbenheimer is the event of the season and everyone's talking about it, but like... I mean, come on. Everyone's paying attention to the strike, which is awesome. Got the climbing gear. I don't know where the climbing gear is. Actually, I, I think I know where most of it is, but I don't think I ever found the booty shorts. Something for later. Oh, we did come up with a fun idea for the, um... Ooh. Aha! You think you can escape me, but I see you. Oh, wait, we already... We already found that one. Alright, cool. Well, whatever. Um... But yeah, I, I had a fun idea because I've been seeing how some other streamers have, uh, been handling various long-form charity streams, uh, and one of the things I really liked is the idea that it's, like, if you donate a specific amount of money, like, not like a, at a limit, like if you donate like a specific number of dollars, an effect happens or like a challenge gets in place. So I was, um, I guessed it on a few of the uh, Jell Apocalypse, uh, like name that tune charity streams, which are so fun. But the last time we did it, it was like chat donations could do things like make it so that Jello has to type his answer or like, you know, <laughs> um, uh, freeze this character for like uh, 10 seconds or something uh, which is good because uh, Jell Apocalypse is kind of a nightmare at name that tune and we didn't stand a chance without that uh, so I was like what are fun challenges I could put in Tears of the Kingdom and I was like how about for this one like I don't get to warp for like 5 minutes so if you chain that with like oh you have to fight this Gliok it's like and if you lose you better be okay with dying <laughs> um Oh, you better not. Oh! No! Ugh. Skedaddle. Hold on. 
<laughs> Get out of here. Uh, and then it's like, oh, for this one, uh, no pants allowed. And then, like, for... I don't remember what the third one was. No, stop it! Stop it! Oh, you cheater. And... There we go. Sheesh. Uh... So there's no pants, and then no warps. Oh, and the third one was no paraglider. <laughs> because suffering is cool. <laughs> uh, I forgot about Dazzle Fruits instantly killing skeletons. Gotta remember that next time. Ooh, hello Hyrule Herbs. I'll take those. I'm not doing the all Koroks challenge. That's beyond masochistic. That's just not even fun at that point. Where am I going again? Where's that yellow? Oh, yeah. I found all those shrines that are, like, south. Eh, may as well, right? Good to have warp points. I'm already, like, worried that a 10-hour, like, mega stream is not going to give me enough time to do all the stuff I want to do. Because <laughs> this game is so long, <laughs> and it's so dense, and there's so much stuff in it. Every time I'm like, I want to do this thing, there's like three other things I have to do first. Oh, hello. <laughs> cool. Well, that was fun. See, the real grocery stream was uh, within our hearts. All right, thank you. Crucify a Korok at 5k? Guys, come on. Then we'd have to find a Korok. Oh, no, my arm! Wow, using the Bacoblin arm to stuff. Kind of busted. Especially in the early game. No complaints, though. I, I, I'm i not going to complain about the early game getting too easy on me. <laughs> I have not yet found a point where this game gets trivial, and I like that. Because that was one of my only complaints about Breath of the Wild, is that, like, after a while, it's not that hard. You know, especially after you got all the Divine Beasts, there's not much post-game. They give you the motorcycle, but then there's not really anything to do with it. Uh, in my other file, I have gotten, like... All the way upgraded armor, all the shrines, all the hearts, all the stamina, and uh, it does not make grinding Gleox easy. <laughs> um, so, for the uh, armor upgrade requirements, the uh, ancient hero aspect armor, I just I was just curious what happened if you fully upgraded it, because like I feel like the game was new enough that a lot of the wikis about it didn't have all the information. And I was just curious if it did anything weird at higher levels or looked different. It doesn't, but, you know, it's fine. Um, uh, so basically... What the? No, come back! Um, ah. Alright, I was too late. Ooh, I'll take that one, though. Haha, <laughs> gimme, gimme. Uh, what was I talking about? Uh, right, so, like, the final... Stop that! The final upgrade round on that is, like... Nine Lionel Saber Horns, nine Lionel Mace Horns, and these are from like White Mane Lionels or Silver Lionels or whatever. Um, and then the last one is like nine Gliok Guts. And uh, Gliok Guts and like Hinox Guts don't drop every time, especially from like lower level. Great. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Um, but they drop almost every time from, like, the higher level ones, like the King Gliox. So I was going around the map, killing every single Gliox I could find, and I didn't get any guts until I went and just started picking fights with the King Gliox. <laughs> and it was so hard, and then I still needed to wait for a Blood Moon to respawn them. <laughs> uh, so that was fun. Unironically, that was actually quite fun. <laughs> but it hasn't gotten easy at any point. Uh... Like, I was running out of arrows after a while. I'd been, gr uh, I'd been grinding Lynels to get the mace and the saber horns, which um, is not that hard. I mean, it is that hard, but it's not that hard to find them because there's a Lynel under every stable, and at that point in the game, most of them had just... This is the ugliest car I could have possibly made. But that's fine. If it gets us where... If it's stupid and it works, it ain't stupid. Ah. Perhaps I overestimated how much this would work. 
No, no, we're good. We're good. Oh, we're killing it. This is great. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Okay, anyway. Um... So, uh, I'm quite pleased with how uh, the game gets more difficult and getting fully upgraded and stuff just means that you can kind of hold your own. It doesn't at any point make it so that it's effortless to grind. I'm glad. I think that's nit uh, neat and nifty. There we go. All right, and let's just, uh, let's just pop that sucker on, maybe? That might work. Let's see. Huh. How about that? All right, everybody. <laughs> well, well, that inches us across. Uh, wait, is it still going? Oh, yeah, no, we're fine. <laughs> we're great. We're good. So what are you guys up to? Take your damaged weapons to the break apart shop to recycle your fused materials. Oh, yeah, I forgot you could do that. <laughs> this is so slow and stupid. Ah! <laughs> oh no! Oh, everything's going to shit. All right, let's just try that again. Um, but if, uh, if, uh, mm. mm hmm. Mm, there we go. Maybe. Oh, that's much more efficient. There we go. See, good at this game. Definitely deserve that ancient hero aspect. But yeah, I like how uh, how even when you're fully overleveled, a lot of the game is still not easy. <laughs> it's the equivalent of the Metal Gear ladder climb. See, you get it. I'm just covering for the game's load times. Oh, fantastic. I am still aiming to, uh... Oh, yeah, let's just keep heading south. <clears throat> I am still aiming to not touch the towers until then. Although we, uh... Oh, hello, friend. Do you need to go somewhere that's actually, like, reasonably located and not stupid? Aw, my friend and I got separated. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I can't wait to catch up. All right. Uh, we'll just build a car or something. It's not that hard. It's just far. Admittedly, picking him up and carrying him would be pretty funny. But there's no need for that. We have science on our side. Technology. Yeah, let's just, uh... And, uh, is that the right way? No, this is the right way. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, just a little bit of that. And, uh, just a little something, something. Actually, that might be another one. Nah, it's fine. And... Okay. I really like how this game kind of encourages you to figure this stuff out. It doesn't really give you particularly outrageous puzzles. It's just kind of like, hey, if you want to get to this location in the map that's hard to get to, you might need to build something stupid. And I really respect that. Um... I mentioned this, I think, the last time we streamed. Uh, the one I did was really unrewarding, but uh, that's not really the game's fault. <laughs> well, I guess that is a little bit the game's fault, but I still had fun. Um, there's a uh, flower-shaped island directly over Lookout Landing, and it's like the highest point in the map, basically. Uh, there are there are places that are like the same height, but it's really hard to get to. Uh, oh, facing the wrong way. I see. Um, and I started from the Temple of Time in the Sky Islands, and I started building stuff up, and I... Just relax, you're fine. Nope. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Why climb when you can just ascend? Okay, let's just, uh... Where the fuck are you trying to get again? I forget. Hey, let's talk. Hey, speak to me! Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, and my friend and I got separated. Yes, but which direction? Oh yeah, it's fine. Straight line. Easy. Perfect. 
Adventure! Um, anyway, so I was building flying machines, just trying to get up there. It was awesome. Whoops. Oh, oh no. Ah! Oh, that's fine. We can walk the rest of the way. Uh, and I finally reached there, and there's absolutely nothing there. There's not even a Korok. Oh no, I'm sorry. All right, and now we run. This is roughly the right direction, right? Hey, you'll tell me if we're going the wrong way, right? Yeah, he's fine. Um, anyway, uh, so it was just really fun sort of being motivated to uh, just build increasingly ludicrous flying machines just to get as far up as I possibly could until I could paraglide over without running out of stamina or... Because a lot of the flying machines have, like, expiration? Not even dates. They, they don't last very long. Like, the, the wings will sort of disintegrate after a little while. There he is. Gotcha. Thanks for ringing, my friend. Yay! Poop! Okay, great. Good job, team. Bye! Uh... Anywho, um... Right by a tower. Oh, the temptation. But no, I must be strong. <laughs> I have principles, damn it. Somewhere around here. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I kind of like that this game sort of encourages the scientific method in that regard. Where it's like, you can build a thing, and if it doesn't work, you can build it again, but better. <laughs> and it's kind of hard to run out of Zonai parts to experiment with. I don't know, it's... It's remarkably good at sort of organically encouraging you to do that stuff, and I, I think that's neat. It's good game design. Why no towers? Uh, because loosely my goal for the, uh, the big proper stream that we'll be doing later in the summer, uh, like late August, is to make it an all geoglyphs, all towers run, although the official goal is going to be just all geoglyphs. Uh, I'll sort of just be getting the towers along the way because that makes it really easy to find the geoglyphs and all that jazz. Um... And the last time I streamed this, I explicitly had the uh, internal policy. Um, absolutely no... Come on, spin it around. Uh, absolutely no shrines. And then we figured out exactly what we're actually going to be doing next time we stream. And we were like, actually shrines are fine and probably good because if I have to spend like hours and hours of the mainstream grinding, we are not going to have the most fun and because we won't be able to set the craziest challenges, you know? Um... What do we got to work with here? What does this do? Okay. Neat. And what does this do? Aha! Cool. Alrighty. Get in there. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And you. Cool. Nice. Oh, hello. Giant slab is just kind of hanging out. Nah, I don't think we need that. We can improvise. Adapt. Perhaps even overcome. Now let's just hub it. Okay, cool. And... All right, good start, team. And yeah. All right, I see the problem. That's okay. Remember, scientific method. This is all good. It's good game design. Uh, maybe like, yeah, why not? Something like, yeah. Oh wait, hold on, I forgot to reset it. Okay, and, uh... Good! Improvements in the direction it's going. Let's just try to... Yeah, maybe that'll work. And... Oh, okay! Progress. Sort of getting there. Okay, I think we need to rotate this a little bit more. And if... Eh. Cool. 
good start, good start. Oh, almost. That's okay. That's that's why we do this. <laughs> All right. This is kind of what I wanted to happen. Come on, just die already. I need you to respawn. All right. One more try. Nope. Oh, no, Link. Come on, man. All right. One more try. All right. Two more tries. <laughs> Let's go see what this thing's doing. Uh, what do I need to do to get this? Is this, like, breakable? Doesn't look breakable. Oh, it's fine. I feel like this is one of the shrines that I didn't have that much trouble with the first time I did it. And for some reason, I'm having lots of trouble the second time. Hey, hey, get out of here. All right, thanks. Come on, buddy. Oh, okay. All right. We're on the right track. I can feel it. I can smell it. Ha! All right. <laughs> Maybe we nudge it back just a little bit. Just a skosh. Hey, hey, hey. Whew. Can't fear for my life there. That's okay. We know what we're about. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah! Ah. I feel like this is the equivalent of those golf shrines that nobody liked from Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Bomb arrow. Huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, we saw you from across the shrine and we really like your vibe. <laughs> Have you heard of Record of Ragnarok? Um, loosely? Only in that I've been watching a few more videos from the YouTube channel Mother's Basement, and if I recall correctly, he didn't like it very much. <laughs> uh, on the uh, podcast that just went up, someone asked us uh, if there's like a particular genre that we wished we liked more. And I mentioned that I had kind of fallen off the stay keeping up to date with Anime Wagon uh, sometime around the time like Seven Deadly Sins came out and it was just not a fun time for me. So I haven't been paying the most attention to the animes, as it were. <laughs> I keep like rediscovering classic anime I watched that were incredibly useful to me for, like, my formative awareness of tropes, and then being shocked when they continue to serve as extremely useful, like, examples for stuff. This is Bleach. I'm subtweeting Bleach right now. Um, where the hell is this shrine? Oh, it's, like, farther this way. Okay. Um, anyway. Alright. Oh, we should probably go back to Lookout Landing after this next crop of shrines. I think when we get an even divisible by four number of lorbs, we'll reevaluate. What's wrong with Bleach? Oh man, what's wrong with Bleach? <laughs> I haven't revisited it in a while. And for the record, the things that bother me about Bleach are much tamer than the things that bother me about a lot of anime. Um, I... I think it's one of those cases where I thought it was going to be a different show than it ended up being. And I think the writer thought that too. Because um, it starts off very monster of the week. Very kind of episodic. Uh, and a lot of anime did this. It, it kind of had the, almost the same starting format as something like Yu Yu Hakusho, where it's like, it's got the perfect format for like a, a ghost slash demon of the week. Our protagonist is sort of a you know, a newcomer to this crazy supernatural urban fantasy world and they're figuring out how to deal with it and it's all good fun. 
And then, as soon as you get the first, our hero must fight their way through a ladder of assorted bad guys who are gonna be good guys next season. It's like, okay, this show is never gonna be episodic ever again. <laughs> um, and that was kind of how I felt with, with Bleach. I really liked those first few episodes when it was all about, like, just random monsters and hollows and... Wait, didn't we already do something like this? Oh, I see. It's like throwing weapons. Um. Okay. Just, yep, okay. Try and purifies the... Alright, well, time for a coffee break. Um... Anyway, uh, it's good stuff. Um, I just sort of end up, when I feel like I have to do homework to get through part of a show, that's usually when I start tapping out now. Um, it's just, you know, I'm starting to think that this might not be the most, um, hey, bro, okay, fine. Uh, You know, like, when I when I describe storytelling in terms of efficiency, it makes me start thinking, like, am I losing the plot here? A lot of stories are not just intended to get the point across as quickly as possible. You know, it's it's about a slow build and, and creating kind of an emotional response in the audience. And so when I'm, like, watching a tournament arc and I'm like, oh, this is bullshit. Why are they fighting so many dudes? <laughs> it's like, perhaps I am the problem here, <laughs> you know? Um... But that just means that a particular genre isn't for me, and that's completely fine. Um, but, uh... But yeah, Bleach is one of those, like, early serotonin machines for me, where every time I revisit it, I can sort of feel my sanity slipping away from me just a little bit, because it's tapping into something rather rather deep in my brain that I'm not necessarily the most proud of. Um, but there's a lot of really good stuff in there. I'm not going to pretend like there's not. A lot of those fights are dope as hell. It's just after a certain point, it gets affected so bad by power creep and the filler arcs start like undercutting the goodness of the previous non-filler arcs. And that's just, that's just a crime. Um, it's just, nah. All right, we don't need his own night spear. I don't remember which video it was where I went back and like did a shot for shot comparison of like one of the original really cool bleach fights where he's fighting Byakuya and his, his hollow side takes over and like catches the sword and then he rips the mask off and is like, oh man, I'm sorry, my super powered evil side kick your ass. It's okay, you can kick my ass a little bit to make up for it. And I was like, this is great. And then like, Fucking, like, 70 episodes later in a filler arc, they just redid that beat for beat against a much less interesting villain, and I was like, well, now I like the original less. <laughs> uh, Bleach was not the best about that. Uh, but I'm not gonna judge a, an anime or a manga on the quality of its filler arcs most of the time. Oh, boy. It was also a case where, like, they... They expanded the cast so much, and that was just, like, a thing that they did in anime around that time. Because, like, Bleach was, um... I want to say Bleach was, like, midway through when Fairy Tail started getting big, and Fairy Tail did that, too. They were like, this is the main guy, this is his rival, this is their cool other character, and then here are five million other people that they hang out with. And every one of these fuckers is gonna get an arc by the end of this show, and I was like, that's so tiring. <laughs> but, uh... I don't know. Uh, it, it was interesting, I think. Um, I haven't really been keeping up with the current trends in anime, so I don't really know how much things have shifted, but it's always kind of cool to see how the uh, the tropes kind of shift over, you know, over the space of, like, the decade where the work is being done. Because, like, what I remember is, like, when I was in middle school, uh, everyone talked about the big three. And they were Bleach, Naruto, and One Piece. And it was just kind of, like, unspoken that, like, you had one that was your favorite, and you were legally obligated to, like, be snide about the other two. Um, and obviously, we all know who won that. One Piece is still going. <laughs> the other two are not, to my knowledge. I keep hearing, like, oh, Bleach Thousand Year Blood War is happening, and that's all I got. Um, 
Oh, hey! They took our pants away. Welcome to Eventide 2. But I feel like all of those shows had, like, the truly massive cast problem. Um, and that was kind of a new thing, because, like, a lot of the uh, shows that were big before that were kind of like... Alright, I gotta pay a little bit of attention here. That's okay, we're, we're fine. Um, it was like, oh, you've got... Um, you know, Inuyasha, you've got Yu Yu Hakusho, stuff like that. Hey! Um, and those had like a relatively small main cast of characters. Ooh. Cool! Haha! <laughs> Can't just tank that stuff. Uh, and then just like bad guys of the week. And Yu Yu Hakusho expanded the cast a little bit in the Dark Tournament arc because it was kind of a crapshoot uh, for every opponent, whether it was like. This is a new future ally who's gonna hang out a lot more. Or like, this is some random jobber villain of the week who's gonna go down in one hit or beat the shit out of Kurama and then go down in one hit. It's kind of the only two options. Um, anyway. Give me that, thank you. Let's see, what can we do here to be actually kind of clever about this? Not much. <laughs> Ooh, we're good. Oh, they moved. We're less good. Yes, raise the alarm. Come to me. <laughs> you fools. Whoops, hold on. Ah, stop it. Thank you, sorry. Hey, 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 knock that off. All right, and one more. Phew, just in time. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I think that was around the time when there was this shift from like, you're gonna have a, sh a small cast of absolutely central characters and then the world is just going to be full of NPCs. Like, they're going to, you know, some stuff is going to happen, but not, you know. You might meet, like, a recurring character, or, like, we introduce a character as a one-off, and then he gets really popular, so we, we bring him back, because that's, that's, like, that's what happened with, um, <laughs> with uh, Hiei in Yu Yu Hakusho. He was just some, like, rando Vegeta-like villain of the week, and then everyone loved him, so they were just like, all right, now he's a super... Tsundere, like, uh, it's not like I like or respect your honor code or anything, but I might die for you now. And everyone loved it because it was awesome. Um, but when you started getting the big three, Bleach, Naruto, One Piece, it was like, these shows have one million characters, and in most of them, nobody really dies. So everyone's just kind of around forever. And then Fairy Tail took that and cranked it up to 11, where it's like, not only does nobody die, nobody stays evil. <laughs> Every bad guy we introduce is going to be your friend within six episodes. Uh, so you just ended up with these massive unwieldy casts, uh, which might have worked for the fandom. I wasn't really immersed in uh, online fandom spaces at the time, so I couldn't say how well it worked. But I kind of feel like you would get the effect of, like, everyone has their favorite. Like, some random character is going to be somebody's favorite. Uh, which is cool. That's a, that's a cool thing to have happen. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. After a while, those just got very tiring, and it kind of was like every character might get one episode where they sort of got a, a chance to shine. But there was this sort of diminishing returns thing where when you have too many characters, and then it's like, this is the episode character about uh, Boru-kun. He's been here the whole time. His gimmick is he's bald and now we're gonna learn about his tragic backstory for 30 minutes <laughs> and it's just like ugh, whatever man so anytime a show starts feeling like homework i sort of tap out 
<laughs> what show is being talked about here? Like anything that came out between 2000 and 2010, I want to say. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think my tolerance for hate watching is pretty low. Or I guess my tolerance for hate watching is not low. My tolerance for hate watching is through the roof. My tolerance for indifference watching is very low. It's just hard for me to really work up a head of steam about something that's just not very good. But if something's truly awful, oh, that's so much more fun. Because then it's like, what the fuck happened here? And why is it like this? And what are we even doing? Um, ooh. What the... <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. What I have seen, uh, in my other file, I've been riding on Dragonback a lot. Uh, and I, at one point, saw Nadra get just clocked by a rock. He didn't feel it. Oh my god, no! I was betrayed. Abandoned by the rock I trusted the most. Um, anyway, what was I talking about? But yeah, uh, my, my low tolerance for meh watching, somebody said. It's just like, if something's really good, then that's awesome. Obviously, we all love that. If something's really bad, that's fascinating. Because so much work went into that. Like, th there's no work of art in the world... That's not entirely true. There's no, like, big work of art in the world that was done effortlessly. Like, I think a lot of artists have the dream of, like, oh man, if I could just, like, if I could just think really hard and psychically manifest the perfect final draft of my story without having to put in all the legwork. Like, everyone dreams that. But that wouldn't produce something good. You know, you get better at making a work of art by working on it. You're better at making it by the end than you were at the beginning. And that means that the work is better, too. Um... Which is a shame, because it would be cool to not have that happen. But, sadly, that's not the world we live in. Uh, so when you look at a piece of art that's just actually bad, it's like, so much time and effort and love went into this. So why is it like that? <laughs> and I just always find that so fascinating to unpack. Wow, I'm a genius. Anyway, um... <laughs> But when something's just kind of mediocre, where, like, I can see exactly why it's doing what it's doing, I just don't like it very much, it's like, eh, alright. It's cool, I guess. It's not my favorite. It's not my least favorite. It just kind of exists. That's not as fun, you know, as a, a truly baffling cinematic experience. Like, I watched Last Airbender, and I'm like, how could a team of people so competent produce something this generally incompetent? And that's an interesting question to me. And I still don't have an answer. One of life's great mysteries. Is this gonna work? I can't tell. Whoop! <laughs> Sources say probably not. Alright, am I screwed? Oh, I think we're fine. Whoop! This might be a little bit, a little bit tricky. Anyway. But yeah, that's what's so interesting about, you know, bad storytelling, because... Uh, let's see. Because it's kind of the nightmare scenario, you know? When you're an artist, you don't want to be the person who tells a bad story. You want to learn from the mistakes of the people who came before you, so that you don't need to stress about that sort of thing. You know. A lot of problems have already been solved. And a lot of times, the only example you need is a good-bad example. And that's what's so interesting about things that suck. But things that are just sort of, eh. It's like, all right, I know what they were trying to do here, and I see why it didn't work. I'm just so bored. So, like, whatever. Oh, how nice of them. They brought me all these extra logs. Okay. Uh, yep. And maybe just one more. That's a good measure. Let's see. And, uh, is, uh, yeah, cool. Cool. Whoop. Man, this shrine is big. 
No! Damn. Okay. Oh, it's fine. We're fine. What do you think about making change in the world effortlessly? Would you find that interesting? Uh, that is a question I'm having difficulty parsing. Um, well, hold on. Let's just let's just let's just let's just take this nice and slow. It's a good thing I don't have Joy-Con Drifter. This would be a nightmare. Ah, quick! While it's distracted. Okay, good. Good work, team. Ooh, cool. Longboat time. Um, uh, what are we talking about? Um, sorry, I see she's seen it and loves the first three seasons, and I'm like, it could be anything. Oh no! Ah, I've created an Indiana Jones scenario for myself. Perfect. All right, we're good. Dragon Prince. Yeah! I'm having fun with it. Although, oh, I feel bad. I kind of use it as like a, a good bad example in a trope talk I've been working on. Um, not because I, I dislike the show, it's just like, unfortunately, it's a really good example of a very specific problem. Uh, and it's it's not even that bad. It's, I've seen like Overall, it's fine. But I do kind of single it out as like, they do this slightly weird thing. And I was not satisfied with the answer they gave about why it happened. And I think it, the, the sort of confusion here is a little bit obscured if you just sort of turn your brain off and watch, because it really only doesn't make sense if you think about it. Um, and that is... So, remember in, like, season two... When Callum uses dark magic for the first time, and he falls into an angst coma for a couple of episodes, and he's, like, having highly symbolic dreams, and, like, hangs out with his dead parents a little bit, and confronts evil him, which is probably just Erevos again, because, you know, it's kind of how he rolls. Uh, and then he wakes up, and he can do sky magic, a thing that no human has ever been able to do. And everyone's like, wow, what a powerful moment. It's like, yeah, but... Why can he do that? <laughs> like, hold on. You're telling me he's the first human being ever to have, like, a symbolic dream and come to the conclusion that sky magic is everywhere because the sky and air are everywhere? <laughs> okay. I don't know. It's The thing is, like, this doesn't... This doesn't feel, like, weird when you're watching it because you're like, man, that was a crazy angst dream and the music is so good and it's a beautiful, powerful moment and, like, the, the way they pace out the moment of truth when he, when he finally draws the rune with his own hand and he's not holding the ball, you're like, wow, that's so cool. But then you, like, think about it 40 minutes later and you're like, you're telling me the only thing that was stopping humans from doing magic was, like, not believing in themselves hard enough? What? Ow! Sir. All right, hold on. Let's try that dazzle fruit fruit thing you guys were talking about. Do I have any dazzle fruit? Yeah, yeah, I got some. <laughs> huh? How about that? Range on that is pretty forgiving too. Anyway, and the thing is, like, there are. Ooh. Oh, right, I forgot about that uh, shrine I marked over there. Ah, we'll deal with that later. Um. But, like, there are, there are so many shows where it's, like, this character is, like, in a coma, or they're sick, or, like, they've been knocked out, and then they have a dream, and in that dream they have some, like, revelation, or they, they like, talk to a ghost or something. And then they wake up, and they're like, ah, I got it. I figured it out. I'm, I'm mentally healthy now. <laughs> um, and they undergo character development. It's a character development coma. So, spoiler alert, that's, uh, that's the thing I'm working on right now, character development comas. Um, this is also why I was revisiting Bleach, because this happens, like, every time Ichigo's losing a fight. <laughs> he gets knocked unconscious, and he has, like, a vision of his sword personified as a cool guy in sunglasses, or his evil self personified as a palette swap of him. And then he, like, wakes up, and, like, catches whatever attack is coming at him, and does something cool. 
But it kind of makes sense because it's literally just about how much of an understanding he has of his powers. Like, they kind of make it clear that, like, oh, you get your Bankai by, like, really getting in touch with your sword or whatever. So, like, it's... I'm going entirely the wrong direction. So, like, it, it's fine when that happens. But sometimes you get stories where it's like, the character had a, had a nice little nap and they, they really thought some things through. And now they can do something that they could never do before. That has nothing to do with, you know, character development. And it doesn't feel like it makes sense that they can just do this thing because they thought about it and realized some things about self-worth. And it's like, okay, cool. And again, it doesn't bother you in the moment because you're like, yeah, wow, believing in yourself. But then you think about it and you're like, are you telling me nobody in the history of the world has ever thought of that before? It's just this guy. And it's just, it's just a bit of fridge logic, you know, like, you're, it doesn't bother you, but then, like, later, when you're looking in the fridge, getting a snack, your brain's like, hey, that was weird, right? And you're like, hey, that was weird. So, that's kind of how I, how I feel about that one thing in the Dragon Prince. And I have a theory? I don't know if they're gonna do it. But I think it would be kind of devastating. Um... So, the thing is, there's been this running theme. Oh, we gotta get up on the Great Plateau for those shrines. Ah, we can do that. Um, so, obviously the, the whole kind of running theme of the Dragon Prince is that, like, humans cannot do magic. It just doesn't work for them. And then Callum is like, rip to you guys, but I'm different. I can do magic now. I, I thought real hard about it and got a pep talk from my dead mom, and now I can do magic. And everyone's like, wow, that's wild. I had no idea humans could do magic. And it's like, yeah, that is pretty wild. But up until that point, the running theme is that, like, Erevos and his dark magic have been the only way that humans can do magic. And the thing is, Callum forged his connection to the Sky Arcanum right after casting dark magic for the first time. So, like, I almost wonder if there's going to be kind of a knife twist where he's like, I figured out how to do magic all by myself. And it's like, yeah, but you only had, like, the the unattached point in magic because you use dark magic, the only kind of magic humans can do. So, like, he, like, he took that little note, mo like, moat and reallocated it in the skill tree in a way that nobody had done before, and that's why he got it. And I think that would be a fun little, like, like, fuck you. <laughs> I don't know. It would make more sense than he, he thought about it, and now he can do it, and it was actually that easy for everybody the whole time. I don't know. So... And the thing is, if, if that is the answer, that would be pretty rad. Because that, it, it's a really interesting character arc to take, like, the one thing that Callum has been using to define himself, which is, I'm a mage, and then, like, not only am I a mage, I'm a really cool mage. I did this thing that nobody's been able to do, and be like, unfortunately, dark magic is still the shortcut that you used to do that. It wasn't because you were cool. That's just how this works. Uh, and they might do that, because they've been setting up some, you know, spooky stuff with that in this season, I think that would be kind of cool, but I have no idea if they're going to do it, and uh, having rewatched the whole, like, dream sequence getting powers thing, they don't really frame it like there are any questions left hanging. Like, we're, we're supposed to be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Like, yeah, he, that was a really crazy dream, and, and then he realized that air is everywhere, and he breathes a lot, and now he can do magic because of it. <laughs> I'm not trying to bully this show. I like a lot of it. And, you know, this is the team that did um, the uh, the ending of Avatar The Last Airbender, which I will defend with my life of, like, oh, yeah, Aang talked to a big turtle man and got a power we've never discussed before, and he's going to use it to cleanly win the day. I like that they did that. I will defend that. But this is the same writing team, so it wouldn't be too crazy if they were like, it's fine. He can do that now. It's fine. Stop questioning it. He's a mage now. It's cool. He believed in himself. Humans just have never done that before, and, and now they have, and everything's awesome. Yeah, people do complain about that ending. As somebody who's defended that ending and gotten comments about it, people complain about that ending. <laughs> I think there are a lot of people who, like, watch kids' cartoons and kind of don't internalize that there is an age demographic that that story is being told with that age demographic in mind. And are like, I just think it's really unrealistic that Steven Universe didn't murder people. 
<laughs> it's like, oh yes, I'm sorry that the show for babies did not talk about how good and fun extrajudicial killings are. And how it's justified if uh, you don't like them very much. Uh, as a uh, card-carrying cartoon liker, I will freely admit that I don't tend to go to shows written for children with the assumption that they're going to show me things that I consider inappropriate for children. <sighs> Let's see how... Yeah, I think we'll get these and maybe one more shrine. I think that'll take us up to 12. We can go back, get a couple hearts, a couple stams. You know how it is. What about Clone Wars? Clone Wars is for kids, but like... In that sort of corners sanded off, but still really horrifying when you think about it way. You know? Like, I would say that all of Star Wars is kind of in that general space. It's like, it it's very much like Baby's First Hero's Journey. There's a reason all the main characters are like 18 to 22 in that first movie. Because... You know, you, you tend to aim a story at a target audience that's, like, a few years younger than the main characters, like, the rule of thumb. Because, you know, most kids uh, will, like, look at kids a few years older than them and be like, oh, they're so cool, I want to be like them. Um, but if you go much further than that, it's like, well, maybe I want to be like that guy when I grow up, but I'm not going to, you know, relate to him in a story I'm, you know, watching right now. Uh, so Star Wars is very much like Baby's First Hero's Journey. You know? It's very, very standard stuff. But, you know, you do get, like, some downright horrifying things that happen in there. Like the main character's whole family is straight up dying. But again, Hero's Journey, that's that's par for the course. That's normal for heroes and stuff. Um, and I think... <laughs> I think when we stop being kids, we sort of get this sort of dumbed down impression of what is appropriate for kids and like what what kids should be able to see and it's like oh i just i don't know this doesn't feel right like there's like there's dead people in this and i don't know if like 11 to 15 year olds should recognize mortality and it's like eh, no kids are fine with that stuff the kinds of stories that kids write are more horrifying than uh, most adults are like prepared to acknowledge i think uh Kids are dealing with a lot of shit, and um, I think a lot of grown-ups forget that, or just kind of go with like, well, kids shouldn't have to deal with a lot of shit, so I'm gonna pretend that they don't. And it's like, well, that doesn't really help the kids that are going through, you know, a lot of shit. It just kind of makes it so that they don't see their experiences represented ever, and then feel weird about it. Ah, there it is. Um, Anyway, in my experience, the kinds of things that, like, you don't tend to get in kids' media are things that... Oop, hold on. I think I goofed. Uh, things that just don't really make sense when you're a kid. And as a person who, uh, never grew out of some of that, I think that is fine a lot of the time. And it can be kind of refreshing to see stories that don't make a big deal out of, you know, like, Oh, I'm for grown-ups because... I let these characters be naked on screen, and I'm like, cool, that makes me uncomfortable, so I'm just gonna not watch stuff that does that so much. You know, things like that. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to hear that to. There we go. Uh... There we go. Oh, hold on, I think I got this. Ooh! But first, let me get that. Gimme, 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 gimme. Aha, yes. Genius. Alright. Thank you. Ooh, not bad. But yeah, anyway. You know, there's a lot of stories that are aimed at... Whoops. Did I break something back there? I think I did. Oh, hold on. I might be able to make this work anyway. Let's see. Might be 
Yeah, I think I can choose this. Okay, and now for my next trick. Come on. Yeah! No! No, do it again! Shit. Well, let me... Oh, wait a minute. Ha-ha! Yes! <laughs> oh, my God. That's why I like this game. Oh, yes, we will be going to hell in a bit, guys. My, my current official goal is that we start exploring the depths when we hit 5k raised for the uh, uh, actors slash entertainers fund. But, um... Anyway, uh... But, yeah, the, the thing about, like, what's appropriate for kids, like, I, I catch myself thinking about this, too. Um... Because I'm in this weird situation, I think a lot of people feel like this, where, like, as you get older, you don't really feel different. Like, I still feel like fundamentally the same person I was when I was, you know, 21, when I was 18, when I was 15. Like, I feel a little more mentally healthy and better adjusted in general and, like, in a better place in my life. But, like, I don't feel magically different now that I'm, you know, 27. And I know a lot of people freak out because it's like, oh, I'm... I'm coming up on 30, and that's the end of the world because all the stories I was exposed to tap, like, treat, like, 35 as geriatric and 25 as over the hill and 21 as the perfect age to be, unless 18 is the perfect age to be. And you get exposed to a lot of that stuff, and I think it kind of messes you up because you don't really have a roadmap for what your life is going to look like when you are, you know, not a child <laughs> or, like just slightly older than a child. Um, and it's kind of really sad to see a lot of people who are objectively very young with most of their life ahead of them being like, oh, I'm not in high school anymore. And all the media I was exposed to made me believe that high school was the be all end all of my life. What's even the point anymore? Which is why I'm very glad that I read a bunch of, like, Ms. Marple novels when I was little. So it's like, well, at minimum, I know what I want to do when I'm 60-something. <laughs> uh, but I have caught myself simultaneously being like, I feel the same. But when I'm dealing with, like, like a 15-year-old, I'm like, that's a baby. <laughs> like, obviously they're not. <laughs> that's, like, mostly a whole person. But I completely understand why adults have had, like, why adults. I say that like I am not myself an adult and have not been an adult for, like, eight years at this point. Um, but that's the weird thing about it. It's like, I still feel the same. So for me, it's like, there's kids and then there's grown-ups. But now it's like, well, no, there's, there's like, there's me and then there's grown-ups and then there's babies. <laughs> Uh, oh, damn it, I always hate these. Um, anyway. So I catch myself being like, oh, I, I wouldn't want to willingly expose, you know, uh, a, a small person I want to protect to something upsetting like this. But then I'm like, when I was a small person I wanted to protect, I was significantly more, like, angsty and dark and, like... I, w I was writing much more upsetting stuff than I am now. I was in a worse place, you know. It was just... I think the thing is, a lot of people who are thinking about, like, stories designed for kids will be like, well, I don't want to think about a kid going through something unpleasant. That makes me sad. So I'm going to pretend like that doesn't happen. And then if somebody writes a story about that happening, I'm going to get upset with them for making me think about that. And that doesn't feel good to me, because that kind of feels like mistaking personal squick for a moral standing, you know? Like, oh, this story makes me upset to think about, so nobody should write about it is already a very bad, like, starting point. <laughs> but when it comes to, like, oh, I don't think that this kind of story should be told because it's not appropriate, it's like, well... Kids go through things that you don't think are appropriate for kids. And that's kind of more the problem, I think. Yeah, let's see. That might... Oh, I think I got this one. No, stop it! Eh! Okay, I think we're on the right track. Eh! Get in there! Stop it! Oh, hold on. I know what's happening. I forgot, you just need to leave it there. Oh, boy. Okay. 
think we're onto something. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Uh, uh, am I missing something? Oh. Oh! Oh, I get it. That's fun. Let's see, what can I attach to this? Can I just pull this whole thing out? No, looks like not. Okay. I guess you are the lucky one. No. I don't want the steak to- I guess I can just do this. Ugh, fine. Whatever. Um, yeah, this should work, I think. Whoop! Shit! <laughs> well, maybe that'll do it. Maybe we're fine. We're fine? Oh, we're fine. I'm a genius. Everything's great. Woohoo! Anyway. But yeah, I think there's this, uh, this interesting thing, especially as, like, writers age, where they feel the same, but their perspective on the world changes. And they don't necessarily notice that, so they sort of slowly lose track of things without realizing it. Um, and, like... Uh, like, a lot of writers are really bad at writing kids. Like, this is just a known fact that, you know, once you reach a certain age and you, you kind of stop remembering how your brain worked when you were a kid, you know, how the world appeared, then you, you sort of lump everybody below a certain age range together. Where it's like, okay, really, what's the difference between a two-year-old and a four-year-old and a six-year-old and an eight-year-old? And it's like, a lot. That's a lot of difference. The difference between a two-year-old and a four-year-old is literally half their life. Um... But it's easy to lose track of. And, you know, the longer that you're, like, alive, the the more it all kind of blends together. But also the more it gets compressed because you kind of still feel like the same person because, you know, you're never going to... You're never going to out... You're never going to outgrow being you. Um, and I also think people have a tendency to sort of retcon how they feel about stuff. You're just going to let be like, oh, I, I think this. So I probably always knew that, right? So they'll be like... I've recently come to this conclusion about how I don't like thinking about it when, like, kids are exposed to bad, scary things. So probably I always thought that. Oh, hello? Please, go away. You're just a monster who's after my blessing of clothing enhancement. The world outside my butt is filthy with gloom and full of monsters. Don't try to deny it. I know it's true. My older sister Tara told me. Even the music I love is gone. And until I hear the sound of a flute out in the world, I'll never go outside again. <laughs> All right, bye, Kaisa. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, <laughs> thanks for donating nine hundred dollars. <laughs> Whoo, baby. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. We have eleven lorbs. I would like to get that to an even twelve. Uh, just so we can. Oh, is, is there a shrine there? Did I just mark that for shits and gigs? Um, anyway, I would, I would like to get that to an even 12, turn those in for hearts and maybe a notch of stamina, and then we're going to go to hell. Sound fair? Cool. All right, let's see where to go. Uh, let's get... Oh, I forgot we can't warp there. It's fine. We'll go, to, we'll, go to, we'll go here, and then we'll go near Impa, but not to Impa. And then we're going to... We're gonna get that last lore, we're gonna turn it in, we're gonna go to hell. It's gonna be great. How do these people have so much disposable income? I ask myself that every day, my friend. But man, it's very cool. I'm very proud of all of you. Okay, um... Anyway, yeah, so, so there's this kind of interesting, like, internal... Nope, stop that. Uh, juxtaposition between, like, on the one hand, I think that maybe people should have realistic expectations about what should and should not be featured in a heartwarming children's cartoon about the power of friendship. <laughs> um, but at the same time, it's like, there's a lot of downright horrifying things that I'm shocked were included in kids' cartoons that I loved at the time and I had no questions about. But, like, you know, 
I still think about it now, and I'm like, boy, that was bananas messed up, and I can't believe I saw that at a formative age and thought it was rad. Because, like, it was rad. I had good taste, but, like, you know, when I look back on it, I'm like, I don't know if I should have seen that when I was six. <laughs> uh... Coraline is a really good example, because Neil Gaiman talked about that, where it's like, kids love it, adults are absolutely horrified by it. And, like, kids love it and are horrified by it, but adults are horrified in the specific way of, like, oh my god, I would want to protect a child who was exposed to this. And I think that's what a lot of this really is, that it's coming from this place of protectiveness. Like, when you are a child, you will advocate yourself till the sun goes down. For, for yourself till the, you know, till the sun goes down. You, you'll be like, yeah, I'm a badass. I can handle anything. I'll, I'll, I'll fight this thing. I'm excited. Because you relate to the main character. And you're like, yeah, this character's badass and so am I. And then when you're an adult and you're reading the same thing or watching the same thing, you're like, this kid hero is a badass. But they shouldn't have to do any of this shit because an adult should be taking care of it. <laughs> I noticed um, something similar when you watch Lilo and Stitch as a kid versus as an adult. Because when you're a kid and you're like, oh, Lilo is so fun. And Stitch is so cool, and I'd love to hang out with them. And then you watch it as an adult, and you're like, the main thread of the movie is child services? <laughs> what? And that sort of protective instinct takes over your ability to enjoy the story and relate to the protagonist, because you're like, Lilo's a great kid, but I would not want her to have to deal with any of this shit, and it makes me sad that she does. And that's the thing, when it shifts from like, oh, what a cool adventure that I want to imagine myself in, to, oh man, I wish this kid didn't have to go through that. That's kind of when the feeling of the story shifts. All right, what are we doing here? Yeah, okay, we can, yeah. Uh, all right, it's not that complicated. Let's just that, and let's just... get two of these in without it. No, definitely not. Alright, let's just do one of them. We don't need two. We don't need that torch either. We'll just automate this shit. The way of the future, baby. Alright, get in there. Good. You get in there. Don't you set me on fire or I'm gonna be cross. Good. Good. It's working. <laughs> I said good. It's working. Okay, good. It's working. See? We're so good at this. And, uh... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Archer! Great. I'm very good at this game. Okay, we just need to lift something up. Okay, cool. And you. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's fine. We'll just... Nope, stop that. Come back here. What are you doing? Oh, it's not that complicated. It makes it complicated. <laughs> and you get over here. Uh-huh. Haha. Good. Oh, I have a feeling it's not that... Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's not quite that simple. Right. All right, don't worry, guys. We're gonna we're, we'll go to hell soon. <laughs> we're on a slight detour to hell. Okay, and uh. Mm. Eh. I make it complicated. <laughs> no, come back. I want to make this even worse. Yes, good! Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're on the detour to hell. You guys get it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And yoink! Yes, good. Alright, is this the one I needed, or...? Okay. 
Great, we're off the detour to hell. We're on the off ramp to hell. <laughs> we're, we'll, we'll stop at the rest stop to hell, and then we're gonna get back on the highway to hell. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're gonna go back to Lookout Landing, trade these in at the goddess statue, and then it's back on track to hell. Can, you, can I use the restroom in hell? Uh, you should have used the restroom before we left for hell. Uh, let's just get rid of that pin. Maybe get rid of this pin. Great. All right, back to lookout landing. Yeah, grab some snacks at the gas station, Hell. We gotta gas up before we get to Hell. Oh, man. I don't want to sound too bougie, but if you have a chance to see Hades Town on Broadway, you should take it. It's really good. <laughs> Definitely a case where, like, you can, you can listen to the soundtrack on YouTube, and you can watch all the slime tutorials you want. But being there and seeing what the stage does is pretty awesome. Okay. I always front load the hearts like whoa, but we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get stams as well. Uh, oh <laughs> I was like, oh well, I shouldn't slurp, but Indigo's not here to to hate the slurp and we're we're perfectly free to slurp. container and then let's get stams baby i would love to get to the point where i don't get one shotted by stuff i mean i'm <laughs> i suppose we could always stress test it check out that gliok and see if it still one hits us and uh blorp. do you think the other people in this like shelter Look over and see Link illuminated in a hallowed sunbeam from nowhere, receiving magical items out of the air, talking to the goddess statue, and they're like, Well, I guess he is the chosen one. <laughs> it's not that weird. <laughs> okay. Great. Let's go to the tower, and then let's go to hell! Let's check how many, uh, how many things... Oh, we got... We got so many bright blooms. Guys, it's fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> Alright. There's our destination. And now, with our enhanced stamina wheel, we can make it slightly closer to the on-ramp to hell. Whew. Oh man, I'm excited to really start exploring the depths. I sort of sped through it in my other file to kind of just... Let me get closer to, the, closer to the mic again. There we go. Um, because I just really wanted to get the whole thing illuminated because... I was trying to pursue 100%, and you know how it is. Um, and I may or may not have looked up a map a couple of times. Fun fact about that, some of the maps are wrong. <laughs> They'll just have, like, light roots and shrines just in the wrong place. It's not a problem I had to deal with in Breath of the Wild, because I got into it so late that, like, all the tutorializing was already done. Oh man, <laughs> only good things can happen in an environment that looks like this! Oh baby, here we go! Yeah! Alrighty, welcome to hell. Now, let's see. 
I... I like that Bright Blooms actually persist. Like, that's gotta be rough on the memory. But, um... There's a Mulduga Den out in the uh, Gerudo Desert that... So I haven't figured out if there's a more efficient way to do this, but in order to get them, like, out of the sand, I throw Bright Bloom Seeds, because the vibrations attract them. And then when they come up, I shoot them with bomb arrows. And, um... When I came back to that area, the Bright Bloom Seeds were still there. <laughs> Which is pretty impressive, like, processing-wise. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh. Alright, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow those weird Dogman statues. Because I think that'll be fun. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, yeah, we take those. Also, I should switch to a more practical weapon. Something a little bit more slender and ladylike. There we go, perfect. Oh, is that another one? Yes, good. <laughs> I like how the game kind of balances itself out. So, like, if you do a healthy mix of several things, you will never really be underleveled for anything. But uh, if you try and grind up any one thing too hard you might find yourself sort of struggling. Um, so, like, after I was, uh, as mentioned in my other file, I uh, fully upgraded the Ancient Hero aspect, the armor set you get for doing all the shrines, uh, which is, it's got, like, 84 armor when you get it fully upgraded. It's bananas. Um, but it does require that you kill a lot of Lionels. Um, and when I was grinding Lionels, I was, like, breaking all of my hand weapons, but I had so many bows and so many arrows uh, and then when I went from that to grinding Gleox... Ah! No! Stop! Leave me alone! I am but a humble farmer! Stop encouraging him! Get out of here! Alright, great. Let's just pick these out of the gloom. Just real carefully. Floor is lava, floor is lava. Hey! Sir! Ah! It's a good thing I recently powered up my heart, so that could be bad. Actually, we've got a light route right there. Let's just... Ah, 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 ah. Okay, good. We're good. We got the Zonite. Everything's fine. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, grinding Gleox will wear out your armor, uh, or your, your bow and arrow supply so fast. It's a nightmare. Speaking of the ancient hero aspect, I did see a few people be like, Oh! Kind of resembles those weird dogman statues in the depths that don't really look like anybody else. And it, like, kind of does. Excuse me, let me just... No, come on. There we go. Except... The dog guy doesn't have a tail. He's just got a little butt crack. Speaking of... I'm sorry, it's the most efficient way to get up them. <laughs> anyway, my point is that does not, in fact, answer the question of what the fuck the ancient hero even was. But I like that. I think that's cool and mysterious. Hope you guys didn't mind the butthole spelunking, because we're going to have to do that a few more times. <laughs> it's just it's just efficient, bro. It's just for efficiency. <laughs> bro, you don't understand. It's tactical, bro. <laughs> I didn't design the statues, all right? This isn't my fault. Ooh, let's get some pose, though. Yeah, ooh, this is our first Poe? Hell yeah. And we don't want to leave this one alone. Come here, you. I am so looking forward to what will no doubt be a surplus- Hey! Ah! <clears throat> a surplus of videos about how the locations where you can find a lot of pose have horrifying existential implications. Oh my god, why is everything trying to kill me so bad? Alright, let's just get that light route and then get back on track. Sound fun? Sounds fun. I'll be back for you, baby. Oh, I forgot about flashbangs. I gotta do that next time. And I shall. Have no fear. Oh, God. Everything is dark and scary. Ooh, what's that? Oh, heck yeah. No. 
No. All right, next time we dazzle fruit. I just don't like having to pull that out in the dark without bullet time. It's scary. All right, how do we get across this gloom pool? I suppose we can always just run for it. Well, I've done stupider things. But first... Oh, yeah, I guess we could just go around. That also works. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I'm really excited for the various like Zelda lore videos that are kind of gonna come out of this game. Obviously, one of the first things I did is check out the Great Leviathan skeletons. And, oh man, I have so many more questions. Because, like, the Great Leviathan Skeletons are all mostly where they were last game. Some of them look different than they did, which is weird. Um, one of them has a baby now, which is weirder. <laughs> but that's fine. That's, that's whatever. That's kid stuff. Um, there are Dark Leviathan Skeletons that are just as massive, but look very different, and they're all in the depths. And they look like big snakes, and I want to know about them. Alright guys, you know what time it is. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. <laughs> Every time I bonk my head, I'm like, this time for sure it'll be fine. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Well, let's see. What do we got? Okay, we're not exactly hurting for spike ball things. We could always do a tasty little quick save. Oh, right, we have the camera. Don't be suspicious. Whoop! I think he spotted us, folks. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. See? That's fine. I love the fucking horror movie strings they play when the Frox fight starts. Like, the Gleok fight theme is downright relaxing compared to this. Okay, we're just gonna... <laughs> Can you tell how many of these things I've been killing recently? Alright, when it turns around and we get a good shot at the eye. Any minute now. So what are you guys up to? You guys haven't seen this before? It's a frox! Don't worry, there are much worse versions elsewhere in the depths. Come on. Spin to win, baby. You know you want to. No, spin the other way. I don't have stamina to waste on you. Oh, but the materials we're going to get from this thing? The grocery run is going to be all worth it, guys. And now? Come on. Yes! Our time is now- damn it, Link. Great, good work. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Mm, that's also... There we go. Perfect, okay. Oh god, my stamina! Ugh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, come on. Recover faster! Thank you. Okay, there we go. He's getting wiggly. But that's okay, that's what we want. What? My- Ah! That was what we wanted until that happened. This is no longer what we want. I'm so used to doing this with three stamina wheels. Alright. So maybe I got a little overconfident. Oh, 
Well, at least we're true to the thumbnail now. I think he can smell us, guys, but that's okay. I'm still here. Don't go anywhere. You're really conveniently located for me. Thank you. All right, and now let's just... No! All right. Great. And a one and a 2 and a... Huh! Let me at him. Great, okay. And now... All right, we gotta be careful with the stamina because we need that paraglider. Great. No, show me your eyes. Thank you. There we go. Perfect. And now... Great, one more. Come on, one more. Yeah, there we go. Great. Anyway, as I was saying, lots of zonite. Lots of bits. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. Nice. And this tasty zonite deposit. Ugh, oh, even better. Everything's coming up link today. Oh, that reminds me. Yeah. Nice. Oh, does Dazzle Fruit work on these things? Actually, that makes sense. I'm assuming anyone you can shoot in the eye does not like getting Dazzle Fruit in the eye. And thank you. Okay. Let's get back to our nice, wholesome statue hunting fun. You guys named it already? We just got here. Oh, we need Zonite. Zonite is a good thing to have. We basically use it to create almost everything Zonai related that we need. It's powerful stuff. All right, now let's just... Uh, <laughs> you know what time it is, folks. <clears throat> oh, nope, that's not what I needed. There we go. It's fine, it's fine, it's wholesome, it's fine. This is really shaping up to be more like the thumbnail I designed than I expected it to. <laughs> Won't lie, when I was like, haha, I'll draw the statue butt and a big frog's menacing me. I just thought butts were funny and frogs were terrifying. Oh, easy, easy, floor is lava, floor is lava. Oh yeah, we're fine, we're fine. What are you guys worried about? We're fine. So funny every fucking time. <sighs> oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Sure. Yeah. 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 This is fine. This is fine. Everything is normal. There's something really unsettling about the unlit depths. Oh, a friend of mine was telling me about a book that he was reading where, like, it was kind of a standard, like, it's post-apocalyptic and humans live underground kind of thing. But, like, it's not like they're in an enclosed cave. It's like they're in a massive, vast expanse of darkness, and the city is lit up with electric lights, and the power is starting to fail. And it's, like, such a beautiful combination of claustrophobia and agoraphobia that I just gotta respect something like that. It's like something about a combo of a low ceiling and a vast infinite in every direction. Just pure nightmare fuel. Who could resist? Alright, let me just, let me just pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, sir or madam. Uh, let's just uh, huh? yeah. City of Ember. Yeah, that's the one. I think. I haven't read it. Sounds cool, though. 
Hmm, let's try not to deal with any of those fellas if we can avoid it. But you. Heck yeah. The depth is just so full of nightmare fuel that the first time I saw one of these spooky night ghost things in the distance, I was like, can't wait to find out how that's going to kill me. But then, I was a fool. In truth, all he wanted to do was offer me this nice weapon, which was extremely cool and friendly of him. All right, let's see. Why is it playing combat music? Ah, because we have a stowaway. Cool. Good work, team. What the hell is this other statue? Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Found the other statue. <clears throat> Pardon me, sir. Okay, I think it's facing this way. It's hard to see right now, but that's okay. Whoop! Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Ow. <laughs> Stop bonking your head, man. You're making us look bad. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I know where we are. I know what we're about to deal with. <laughs> okay. I like the little like environmental foreshadowing they're just peppering in on the way. Like, this is more lit up than it has been, but it's not the kind of lights that the moblins and the coblins use. And whoop! We've really got this down to a science. Uh, where are we going? We're following the statue trail, man. This is the this is the this is the fun way that people give you directions to things. Yeah. You know, we can't just say like, "Hey, here are the coordinates that you can use on your map that perfectly gives you coordinates in 3D space." No, the only sane way to do it is massive chains of statues stretching through the depths. Hope I brought enough bright plume seeds. Oh! Hello. That's fun. I wonder what we're underneath. I think we're underneath the Great Plateau? Actually, hold on. I suppose we can interpolate. Oh. No, we're near the Great Plateau. But not quite there yet. Also, I gotta find a bright plume seed around here. Or a light root somewhere. Guys, don't spoil it. Ah, I see where we're going. Yeehaw! And a light route, perfect. Just mark that for later. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll take a wide berth around these guys if we can help it. Just don't really have it in me right now. No, uh No, you didn't see anything. I'm invisible. <laughs> I'm hiding. Excellent. Conflict avoided. Ooh, I should have thrown a bright blue seed before this. Oh no, we're fine. We're fine. See? It's fine. Ah! As I was saying, it's fine and we're fine. Oh, I swear to God. Okay. Y'all need to cut it out. Oh, there's a light route over there that we can get to. But that's fine. We don't need that. Alright, now we throw a bright blue seed. Great, let's fucking book it. <laughs> you 
You can avoid a lot of problems by knowing when to run, baby. You know, maybe we will just glide over to that bright bloom seed, or that, fuck, that um, light root real quick. Just to have, you know, as a treat. <laughs> Nothing to do with our current back to three hearts that we're at. We could have cooked sunny food, but I didn't. And then I didn't. All right, let me just hit. Let's just and a little bit more for flavor. And let's just whoop. Yes, Link, that's exactly where I wanted that to go. Into the unknown, baby. All right, there's a tree in the way, but maybe it's friendly. Yeah, see? It all worked out. Oh god. I don't like not knowing where the ground is at all. Oh, it makes me so uncomfy. <laughs> and thank you. Ah, that's much better. Great. Good work, team. Mmm, delicious. All right. Fortunately, we marked that other light route on our map. So now we can, uh... Eh, 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 now we'll just eat some apples, I guess. And, uh... All right, so later we'll go cook. It'll be fine. All of my muscle memory for how long I can hold the sprint button is wrong. <laughs> is this a good sword? Nah, you can keep it, man. Thanks, though. Ooh! I think that's Farage. We found his uh, route through the depths. Something about seeing something that big just casually flying through the distance is not my favorite to think about. <laughs> so I didn't realize when I started playing this game that, like, uh, all of the fairies were in different places. So I went to Kakariko Village, where the Great Fairy Fountain used to be, and I went in and I was like, where you at, girl? Hmm. That seems fine and not at all a boss arena. Uh, and where the Great Fairy Fountain once was, there is a massive gaping hole to the depths. So I figured maybe she fell in. <laughs> and I spent like an hour just wandering around the depths under Kakariko, like trying to find her. And then I learned that they were all on the surface, just relocated. So that was fun. I don't remember if there's a clever way to do this. I think I just kind of muddled through. <clears throat> All right, let's just let's put on our put on our best duds. Actually, let's let's fuse a little stuff. Oh, I guess we already have a fused sword just like that. What can we do? Oh, we got like eight of these, so may as well. <clears throat> Hello there, sir. I'm here for my 6 p.m. ambush appointment. I know I'm hideously late. How gauche of me. Ah! I didn't think we'd see anybody else down here. Though I imagine you could say the same to us, huh? Uh, you're here to investigate too, right? You know, since you took the ye- Uh, I mean, the survey team interview? Yes, surveying. That is what I am here for. Because we definitely took that interview too. That's why we're here. Yep. Oh, uh, take a look at this! Our latest discovery nearly knocked us off our feet. We found this weird device with these wavering green letters on it and this strange statue. We think it's one of those living stone constructs. Pretty sure it's supposed to move, too. Yeah, man, you're supposed to move, right? Well, I say that, but it's all just conjecture on my part. Truth is, we're in a bit of a panic here. If we don't figure out how this thing works soon, we're going to be in big trouble. What about you, miss? Oh, did you pass the interview too? He obviously did. Why else would he come strolling into a place like this? Ugh, why'd I even bring it up? I'm so stupid. 
Uh, just forget it. It's not important. What is important is this text we're investigating. It's fascinating. He claims that this stone statue should be able to grant us an ancient power. Ancient power? That's right. This peculiar stone statue is nothing less than one of the fabled constructs. In fact, I have some writing here that explains this so-called ancient power in detail. It reads, This ability will allow you to commit any structure you create to memory. Any object committed to memory can be instantly reproduced. Just think of it. If we could instantly recreate anything we'd ever made, the ye- Uh, I mean the survey team's, uh, investigation of this land would be swift and unstoppable. The text further claims that this construct should be able to grant us that power. Oh, we just have to wake it up. <clears throat> Excuse me, my man. Whoop. Uh-huh. Cool. Authorizer verified. <gasps> it's moving! Conferring auto-build to authorizer. Now. Please utilize it as you explore, then to excavate the depths for Zonite. Okay. Any day now, sir. Oh, you know what time it is. Lorp. That was a long one. Dun -dun -dun -dun. There we go. We got all the runes now. Did I see what I thought I saw? Did that thing just give you the power we've been researching? That's incredible. C could you give us a demonstration? Let me see what the text has to say. Hold on. Uh, this ability will I? Yeah, yeah. We already talked. Ah. I know just what to use it on. As luck would have it, both of our vehicles just broke, and we've been struggling to put them back together again. Ah, it's that shoddy Yiga construction. One on the round pedestal lost a wheel, one on the square pedestal has fallen to pieces. But I think, if you put the wheel back onto the first one, you should be able to use your power to repair the second in no time flat. Let's see him in action. Fix him up quick. All right. Anything for you fine folks. And then just a bit. Wow, this was really beyond you guys, huh? <laughs> wow, look at that! The wheel's right back on there! Snug as a bug! I keep waiting for them to ambush me. It's like, what, what, what one-liner is gonna be the joke? <laughs> Use that new power of yours and fix it up lickety-split. Oh, all right. If thou insists. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Gotcha. Boing. All right, we good, guys? Whoa, it's like I'm seeing double. Built in less than no time flat, too. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Thank you, ancient power. Are we good? The texts were right after all. I'll say, that power's incredible. Oh, master! <gasps> well, look at that. The legends were true. Great work, both of you. You too, stranger. <laughs> stranger! <laughs> credit where credit is due. Yes, credit where credit is... <gasps> if there's one fall I'll never forget, it's the man who cast me from my Gerudo Desert hideout into these very depths. It was you! Now I live for vengeance, both upon that no-good Zelda and upon my sworn enemy. That means you, Link! We meet again at last. The circle is now complete. When I left you, I was the Master Koga. Now I am still Master Koga, but with a slightly snazzier car. Don't try to tell me you've forgotten me. We are bound by fate, you and I. Hear my name and tremble in fear. Oh, sorry, that was a spoiler. <laughs> I am the leader of the Yiga clan. The one, the, sorry, the strong, the depths defying, from the ashes rising. Master Koga! Do you guys have any idea how delighted I was when this happened the first time I played? <laughs> I saw it all. I saw the moment you obtained the ancient power. We've sought for so long. The highlight of all the musty old texts we found in this land. It remembers objects you've assembled and can instantly reproduce them. A long lost ability from the distant past. So you, you, you're cheating! <laughs> 
Here we are, working ourselves to the bone to build things by hand. And you can just whip them up from an instant. That's not fair! You know who could have used that power? The one we worship and revere. The Magnificent One! If we offered it to him, he would have crushed you and Zelda both. But you just walked right up and snatched it away. Now I'm gonna snatch it back! Prepare yourself! Ah, cool. No, my car! I just stole that! What you summoning, bro? Ow! Oh, Jesus! Alright, let's just... Uh, <clears throat> it's fine, nobody saw that. Everything's cool. Uh, I guess we could eat some food. You know, just a little bit. And maybe, uh... And do we have a better weapon than, uh... Nah, this one's more funny. Alright. Come on, get up. Make a new car. Thanks, man. Take them corners, bro. You can do it. I think maybe they drop in there so I can hit him with the car. Ah, eh, maybe next time. Woo! Speedy boy! Oh, hold on. There we go. And you just... <laughs> He's been yoked! I'm so glad we have Master Koga back. Oh, I love that he still does the anime like shoulder. Ugh, you pesky little pest! Why won't you stand still and let me squish you? Well, fine. I suppose I can let you off easy for today. You think you're so smart, but I've already found a whole bunch of ruins down here. Ha 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 ha! I'm so cool! I saw your little trick there. You used your right hand to get that construct going. I'll grab that power you cheated me out of for myself, off at the southwestern abandoned mine. Then the Magnificent One and I will guide this world to its miserable end, and there's nothing you can do to stop us. Ha 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 ha! Bye! There he goes. Oh. <laughs> Looks like Master Koga's blasting off again! Slowly! Great, good work, team. Ah, oh, you shouldn't have. Cool. I guess we've uh, started the Master Koga side quest. Hey, man, you got anything else to say? <laughs> Thank you for repelling the trespassers. Hope you will pardon me for listening in on your conversation. <laughs> that man mentioned an abandoned mine to the southwest. I suspect that he is referring to the former Gerudo mine. That place flourished with activity long ago like this one, or was constantly unearthed and refined. There are statues that point the way to the abandoned Gerudo Mine. Follow them to reach that destination. I recommend you begin by making your way to the light you see over there. One more thing before you set out on your journey. There is something I would like you to have. Please speak with my associate when possible. Alright, thanks, man. Whoa, Nelly! We got a new battery pack! That's awesome. And <clears throat> to you? Master Koga's profile has been added. Hell yeah. You were driving out the trespassers. No, no, we need to hide. Another reason it is good you have come. I see that you have the ability to auto-build. That means this schema stone I carry is for you. Oh, cool! Fan plane. Thank you! Your design has been registered with auto-build. You should now be able to auto-build an additional design. Please wait while I prepare the necessary parts for you to test this schema stone. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> nice. So 
such a slurpy ability. All right, we can play with that later. <clears throat> Let's talk to this guy. Hello. I'm grateful for you driving out the trespassers, processing zonite. Processing? Zonite charges and crystallized charges are two such examples. Zonite charges? Whoa, those things that I've been getting from all your dead friends. Crystallized charges. Metal gear. Solidified form of zonite charges. Running energy cells. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's see. How much do we have? Oh, we don't have enough large zonite for these. And we, uh, well, let's see. We have 130 of these. We can't afford 70 of them. We don't really need to buy more right now, so we're fine. Thanks, man. See you later. All right. Well, it would be rude to <clears throat> get this nice fan plane design and not test it out. So let's use it to fly to that light route we could basically walk to. Well, let's switch back to a less heavy-hitting weapon now that we're not dealing with the one, the only, Master Koga anymore. Let's go. Wee. Hmm, there's some verticality in this area that I don't like thinking about. Oh. Oh, I also don't like thinking about this. <laughs> I keep forgetting our battery is so dinky right now. All right, that's enough. Thank you. Great. I should set a new goal. What should we do with 7K? <clears throat> We could always escape from hell. Oh. Ooh. Oh, we don't have the sensor, so I can't sense treasure chests. Uh, oh, actually, but we should go back up and talk to Josha because she was like, hey, my whatever in the depths is like my research. I'm not going to give you anything else unless you tell me something to do. Maybe at 7k we check out that Gliok again and see if we don't get one-shotted anymore. <laughs> Maybe we could slowly wear him down. Although what we really should be doing is getting more shrines. Okay, let's see. Hey, Josha. That picture you took helped me realize yada yada yada. No! Damn it! Why? What an excellent night. Pura pad. I want the pad upgraded. Uh... <laughs> Do I need to do something about this? Well, hello. Let's talk to the statue. Hmm? No, I haven't done a phenomenon. I need to do a phenomenon first, but those are like the main quest lines. Do I need to just, like... Wait, hold on. Did they just not let me? Oh! Off a pose to me. Here's a pose for you. Boy! Yes. Oh, this is indeed a pose. What pitiful beings these are. They've lost their way home and wander the depths of this land. I have returned the lost spirit to the afterlife, where it belongs. Since I was brought here to the surface, I've been unable to return pose to the afterlife. Because of you... I can assist them once again. You should take this. Oh, cool. A lump. If you offer me more pose, I will give you suitable compensation. Oh, nifty. Uh, well, I'm a little poe broke, as it were. As the kids say. Take some bomb flowers, though. Always useful. I want them. Uh, I guess I can't take them all. All right. 
I don't got any more pose for you. Sorry. My brethren whose spirits reside in statues far larger than mine are in the depths of this land. If you encounter my brethren, try offering pose to them. Where are they? If you offer me ten pose, I will tell you the location of one of my brethren. Uh, I'll come back to you when I have more souls. <laughs> I like that it's a game mechanic in this game for Link to just be aggressively haunted by stuff. Okay. So what I'm hearing is we can't get Josha's whole thing and we can't get Robbie's whole thing until we start one of the phenomena quests? Do we need to... Do, mm. Mm, I mean, I guess it's not so bad to start one, right? Like, that that doesn't feel t terrible. It could be it could be a lot worse, you know? Like, it's just a... Uh, you have to finish one of them? No! Oh, that doesn't feel right. Ugh, you know what? Let's just get this shrine up here. Let's get this shrine and then go from there. Wait. Do you just have to talk to Pura? We need to get the newspaper. What? What? There's so much game in this game! Alright, where are we going again? Uh, right, up and around so we don't accidentally talk to Impa. Can't be starting that main quest line before we want to. <laughs> Ugh, boy. Because I, I was rushing through this game early so much that, like, I don't really know what things trigger what. Because it just kind of felt like everything was happening all the time. Ugh. Well, I suppose we can always just do more depths exploration, get more stuff, possibly get some armor sets. Having the sensor would be... Oh, really helpful, though. Oh, we're still a ways to go. That's fine. I guess that does explain why all the early quest line things try and send you to Hebra. Oh. Did I already mark that one? Yeah. Alright, we'll deal with that later. <sighs> oh yeah. We could start the Lucky Clover Gazette thing. I feel like a lot of these quest lines, getting them started, doesn't really open up the game world that much. That's probably fine. It's probably fine. And I think we are loosely heading in the correct direction. Actually, I can just navigate by that massive tornado thingy that we're going to need to deal with later. Yeah, I think we'll just uh, we'll just meander in that general direction, see if anything interesting comes up. You know, no no promises on anything, of course, but like, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Just check things out just a little bit, start some quest lines, see if that triggers anything. When in doubt. Ride a rock. Woo! Alright, now where's that shrine I wanted? Wait, is it in the cave? Oh, it is, isn't it? Damn it! Alright, fine. Wasted my go up, yes. Uh, oop. But I'll mark that one for later. Save those for later. Uh, and I'll mark that geoglyph. A surprise tool that will help us later. And that shrine. And I think that's everything I could mark on the map. Great. All right, let's go back to the cliff. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on, let me in. Thank you. All right. Show me the shrine. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> Come on, Link buddy. <laughs> Get out of there. All right, we're good. 
No master hand fights for me today. Yeah, you can scope while gliding and it activates bullet time if you're, uh, if you've got the paraglider open. If you scope while, like, riding on a dragon back, it doesn't go into bullet time, though. Oh, cool. <laughs> I get the feeling they weren't expecting us to cheese this one. <laughs> Alright, we'll kill that Phantom Ganon later. Unless we hit 7k, like, right now, in which case I will do my level best. <laughs> Maybe 7k we warp back here and try to fight it. That sounds fair. Yeah. <clears throat> the thing is, like, the Gleok rematch would not work. Like, we wouldn't win. I'm... Still barely beating Gleox with really good bows and armor sets that actually help me tank damage. So a Gleox rematch with just us, it would be us getting ragdolled for a second. It would be funny. Wouldn't do much else other than that. Fighting a Phantom Ganon is mostly a matter of skill. And I feel like we could theoretically... The thing is, this is so underleveled for me to fight Phantom Ganon. I was way more overpowered the first time I fought a Phantom Ganon. Alright, which direction are we going? Ah, uh, yes. Well, this will be helpful for when we're doing the tower run. Do I have key eyeballs? I do have key eyeballs. I keep forgetting that you can fuse eyeballs to arrows and just cheese stuff that way. Alright, let's just, uh... Rush a few more shrines before you guys make me fight an actual living nightmare. <laughs> ah, what a beautiful day. Birds are singing. Bacoblins are frolicking in the fields. An intrepid bird reporter waits just over that. Oh, yeah, I'll take that giant rock. Thank you. Although, as with all the other fight challenges, my rule is that if I die a certain number of times, we just don't. We don't. It, I, I leave and I do something else. It's only kind of fun to watch me bang my head against a challenge over and over again. Is that a Lionel? Well, I thought of something we can try for 8k. See, the Frox was fine. I knew the frogs would be fine. Frogs are not that complicated to fight. Even obsidian frogs and blue-white frogs, I think, are mostly just a matter of having health bars like sponges. <clears throat> Getting the glide armor, I am saving for a uh, uh, donation incentive for the main game, because I think those challenges are really fun, and they could be a nice little short diversion away from... Uh, an otherwise pretty efficiently timed stream. That's kind of the thing we got to keep an eye on when it comes to like, hey, if we get to this much, I'll try this thing, is that if that thing takes way too long or is way too hard, then I'm going to be stuck doing that for a while. And also nobody has a donation incentive for a while after that. So we got to be, we got to be efficient. We got to balance things out. That's part of why I'm doing like grindy stuff now. Because that way, I get all of this hot nonsense out of the way early, and we don't need to worry about me being hideously underleveled for actually fun challenges. Like, let's go pick a fight with a Gleok, for instance. Like, if I get above 10 hearts this session, I'll feel good about that. I mean, if I get above 10 hearts above this, in this session, I'll feel great about that. But, you know. Okay. Oh, I remember this. <clears throat> Alright, first one is easy. I overthought this way too much the first time I was doing this shrine. I was kind of expecting it to roll. Not sure why it did that, but eh. Okay. Whew. As a reminder, the current 
uh, if we hit 7K donated to the um, actors uh, slash entertainers fund, I'll go back and pick a fight with that Phantom Ganon. And maybe even not die. No, oh, stop it! I want it in the middle! Why are you like this? And easy. Easy. The way it snaps to point is not my favorite a lot of the time. There we go. See? Was that so hard? Alright, is that good enough or do I need to do something else? A little close. I think we need the other log. I'm starting to see why it was not snapping to point like I wanted it to. Oh my god! <laughs> Whew, he's... Thank you, Staff Witch, for donating $500 and making me go fight Phantom Ganon as soon as I'm done with this shrine. <laughs> okay. If there's one thing I've learned about the internet, it's that nothing motivates people to be incredibly generous and cool, like the promise of suffering, for me, specifically. Alright, let's go. Woohoo! It did the bingly bingly. Um... Uh, be kinda nice to get that ladder thing. Okay, hold on. I'm not trying to delay before I fight Phantom Ganon, I promise. I just want whatever's in that treasure chest. I might need it to fight Phantom Ganon. Uh, oh, hold on. Can I? Will this? No! Shit! <laughs> Damn it! Link! <laughs> so you can shield gr grind, like, on a rail, but he doesn't lock onto it very well. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Come on. Aim it correctly. Aim it. Aim it. Link. <laughs> All right. Fuck me, right? Whatever. Let's do something else. All right. I, I do not have health to spare right now. We're, we're, we're not fucking around with that. We'll come back if it's so important. And let's just... Whoop. And let's... And how does it need to be shaped? Oh. Easy. Easy peasy. Ish. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's just do this. Might be overcomplicating things slightly, but meh. It's not a crime. And let's just glue this onto that. Oh, wait, hold on. It's still, like, glued to the other thing. Great. Now let's. Uh huh. Uh huh. <clears throat> and one more for luck. Great. Ah, oh, so elegant. Archimedes himself could not define, uh, de invent, design a better and more efficient machine. All right, just get in there. <laughs> Okay, and whoop. Oh, hello, Archimedes MD. <laughs> Thanks for confirming that you could not design a more efficient machine. Alright, great. Yep. gonna need to fucking kill the hands before we can even try it. No, it's fine. It's probably fine. We might even have enough arrows. Maybe. Maybe. Well, I only promised to try. So, like, whatever. Alright, back we go. sip of coffee before we get into this. I'm debating whether or not I should 
get the Hylian shield and the champion's leathers as like a reward <clears throat> or like a tier incentive during the actual big stream. All right, where are you at, you sneaky fucker? Come on. You know you want to be a menace, right? Do, 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 do. Look at me. I am... I'm a big old dum-dum, just meandering around, heedless of the peril in which I have placed myself. Oh, my goodness, a hearty truffle in this innocuous cave? What could it represent? Ooh, bubble frog I actually do want to get. Better not be any fucking scary hand monsters or I'm going to be real fucking nettled. Surprise! Did I get him? I got him. Haha. -ha. Easy as pie. Let's just take that in this little long car. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Purposefully doing this feels awful. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh boy, I sure am feeling weakened from gloom exposure, and I'm just so sad about my girlfriend. Be a real shame if something ambushed me about it. I don't know. That would be the worst. Ooh, bomb arrow, or bomb flower. I'll always need more of those. So the thing I'm worried about is that last time we were here, they did spawn, like, immediately. And we climbed up to the shrine. And, uh, threw bombs at it, did very little damage, didn't really get much done. And it never dissolved into dark clumps. Some of them don't do that. They're, like, I don't know, story-mandated to stick around until you face them. But I'm kind of worried that, like, maybe... This one just isn't, like, I don't know. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's take another turn around the, uh, around the arena. Oh, boy. My, my, a corner I haven't checked out yet. Look at its ample supply of bright caps and bright blooms and shiny rocks that I could perchance break with a heavy weapon where I'm not constantly looking over my fucking shoulder for this hand nightmare that I know is going to try and stab me in a minute. It may just spawn after a blood moon. Yeah. Okay, so I know where I can find another one. And it does kind of double up with a thing I wanted to do anyway. Which is by the castle. Does it not spawn after you get the shrine? That doesn't make sense. Actually, that kind of does make sense. Um. Huh. <sighs> well. So, if we want to check out the castle. I can get the champion's leathers and I can get the Hylian tunic or the, the Hylian shield and those would both be good to have and there is a gloom hand. You know what? Someone donated $500 for this. Let's go get the Hylian shield and maybe die. I'm sure this one can come back after a blood moon. It's just we don't have one right now, so. Do blood moons not happen if you're in caves? I feel like they only happen if you can, like, see the sky. Okay. Can 
Come on. I don't think we have the stamina to easily get into the castle right now. I mean, we've got, like, stamina elixirs. We could do it if we wanted to. Maybe we do want to? Maybe it would be good to just have those just around. Maybe. Mm, nah. That's fine. <clears throat> For the Hylian shield, we're not going into the flying part of the castle anyway. I miss Guardian Stalkers. They made the castle so interesting. All right. Now. And I like that they make this miasma just kind of hang in the air around the castle, just to sort of show, like, yep, bad stuff here. And look at that. The trees that are just dead within range of this blasted heath that is the castle. I like that. It's a nightmare. And now we get to share it with all of you. <clears throat> okay, let's see. What's my point of entry again? Oh yeah, we're 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 close ish. Ish. Ugh. Might need to get some stamina anyway just to get through. Oh cool, the prison. How fun. How funky. How fresh. Ah! I'm sensing a clever way that we could sneak our way in. Through this conveniently pre-assembled boat! What are the odds? Okay, let's just, uh, let's just get this bad boy in the water, and I think... Actually, hold on. We probably need a wind weapon for this. Um, because otherwise, I guess we could put a fan on it, but I think a wind weapon would be easier to steer with. Have I not picked up any Korok fronds? I must have, right? Be weird. There we go. See? I knew I had some. Um, perfect. Obviously, that's exactly what Rauru intended with this Zonite sword. Alright, so we're still a little bit wedged. Come on, figure it out. Get me off the rock! Thank you. Link, my man, I need you to get your shit together. Uh, fine, let's turn it around, whatever. Make me adhere to physics now, why don't you? Rude. I'm putting so much work into going to get murdered. Now I'm gonna do my level best, but if this thing gets too handsy, I will just climb a wall and let it disintegrate. And I will have no shame about this. <laughs> are interesting. What the? Wait. Why are we turning? Like... Stop making me think about angles. Alright, good. Good, 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 good. Let's see, where are we going? Oh yeah, we're close. Round this next bend. Almost. Almost. 
current's really working against us right now. <laughs> Come on, Link, my man. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, there we go. So promising. <laughs> Nothing bad ever happened to the Hylian royal family. Oh god, it's all gloom under there. That's so horrifying. Let me in. <laughs> I have to pick a fight with something scary. <laughs> I don't want to leave the security blanket that is my boat just yet. Will this get me a Korok? Please tell me this gets me a Korok. No, okay. Well, hold on. Now, hold on there, Sonny. Let's see. Uh... Maybe? No. Alright, whatever. Let's go pick a fight with the Nightmare. Oh my! What a lovely and non-suspicious room I have found myself in. <clears throat> Allow me to real quick save. Hooray! What could possibly go wrong? Mm, I don't trust any of these gloom patches. Oh dear god, where is it? Oh god, I found it! Okay, that's working. It's bad that it's working, but... What? What? Ah, shit! I didn't get close enough for it to fuck me up, so it just disintegrated. I feel like I cheated you guys out of a good fight with that one. Just because I didn't want to get close to the scary screaming thing. Alright, do you guys have another one I can go pick a fight with? <laughs> It's a legitimate strategy. It just, this is like, see, the last time we did one of these and people were like, what change would you make to this game? I was like, I would make gloom hands worse <laughs> so that they don't do that. And people were like, no, why would you do that? That would be awful. But it's like this, come on, man. Someone donated $500 so one of those things could fuck me up. And I keep accidentally, ah, shit. Can't carry any more shields. Well, I guess we got to leave it. No, I'm just kidding. Great. Hopefully I never need to replace that. Oh my god, are we about to get a blood moon? <laughs> oh, my prayers have been answered in the worst way possible. Let's real quick save. <laughs> well, let me switch to an actual sword. <laughs> no, I really think I can fuck this thing up with my Korok frond. I think we'll be fine. Come on, do it. Just do it. Do it, Ganon, you big bitch. <laughs> when the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. Hey, Zelda's right outside. Let's go say hi. The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Well, whose fault is that? Alright, where are you hiding? Where are you, you sneaky fucker? I found you! I see you, villain! I see you! Oh, it sees me. It sees me. Alright, I want to kill you before you can despawn so that Phantom Ganon happens and we have a proper Phantom Ganon fight. Good, good. Good. Come on. Yeah! We did it! All right, come at me, you big bitch. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot he makes gloom radiate. Oof! Oh, my God. Woo. Oh, thank you, one-hit protection. <laughs> Let's just... Uh, <laughs> 
Um, mm, hey, remember last time when I was like, why would I cook better food? I'm not going to be getting more hearts until we stream. <laughs> That's okay. I think we can make this work. Nope. Haha. -ha. Surprise, bitch. Nope. Link. Stop that. Woo! That's okay. It's okay. We're good. It's cool and fine. We're so chill. You can just tell how chill we are right now, right? Like we're just we're just the chillest, and everything is fine and normal. <laughs> Boy, I'm so glad that my ironclad sense of honor absolutely forbade me from just leaving this fight like a smart person would. Ooh, stop that! Nope. Put that back in your- put that back where it came from or so, help me. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. That's fine. Woo! That's cool. It's cool. Ah, my ultimate weapon. Skeleton arm on a thing. Did it just break? Yeah, yeah, it did. I'm the hero, baby. Come on, one more! Ha ha ha, we got him. Great, a weapon I can't use. <laughs> what do you got? What do you got for me? More clumps? Fantastic. Ooh! Ooh, these are good, actually. I mean, they'll, they'll be... Wait, hold on. Let's drop one of the... Let's drop one of the weaker bows, actually. And I'll take back the spiked bow combo. Whoo! All right! My honor is intact. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, pff, 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 where to go? Um, oh, yeah, there's all those things over there that I was going to check out before you guys made me fight a Phantom Ganon. Whew, terrifying. All right, if anyone asks, uh, we just woke up with the Hylian shield. We, it's, I didn't do anything weird to get it. It was fine. It just kind of happened. When I woke up, all I had was the Master Sword busted up that did one hit, one, one damage, my underwear, and the 90 Defense Hylian Shield. It's crazy how these things happen, you know, it's the will of the goddess or something. We'll get the Champion's Leathers later, it's fine. Maybe we'll do that for 8k. No, I feel like I owe you guys another getting absolutely flattened by a Gleok. So maybe for 8k we, we pick another fight with the Colosseum Gleok. And then we go get the Champion's Leathers. It's just harder to get into the higher levels of the castle, just because flying with no stamina is hard. <laughs> okay. I feel like every single time I've gotten a Blood Moon in this game, it's been narratively incredibly funny. <laughs> like, oh no, I was accidentally too much of a weenie to let the Gloom Hands turn into a Phantom Ganon for me to fight. What a shame. <laughs> so then, surprise, do over. <laughs> we called them back for one more song. And honestly, thank goodness for one hit protection, or that would have been really bad. <laughs> But I guess I don't deserve that from Gleox, huh? I guess it's fine for Gleox to absolutely flatten me for no reason. You're telling me the king of evils, psychic emanation, is is weenier than a kaiju knockoff from a Godzilla sequel? No, thank you, sirs. Bye. Later. And there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, did I already mark? I did. Okay, cool. Something for later. Now I'll get this tasty little 
Stable Shrine. Ooh, I could put the HUD away. I've played with that a couple times. It's kind of really nice. Kind of makes you realize how little information is actually on screen a lot of the time. Because I put the HUD back up and I was like, oh, that's it? It's just hearts and, like, the map? Neat. Oh, how nice. Oh, you know what? Let's switch away from the Demon King bow because I want us to have that for long enough that it actually becomes good when our hearts in uh, increase. <clears throat> but while I'm here, I will gladly take those arrows. fire at the enemy's head. Gladly. In fact, I'll do it in bullet time just to prove how cool I am. Yeah, yeah, your other attack. Just get it out of your system. Now shoo! I know! Thank you. Okay. As I was saying. Ooh. 20 free arrows. Heck yeah. <laughs> Nothing is more useful for the really crazy fights than the ability to get up high so you can bullet time on the way down. <laughs> Yep, yep, thank you. Ooh, three of them. Fire true and strike their heads. Okay, thank you, Raru. I am loosely familiar with the concept of a bow and arrow, but I appreciate your tutorializing. You never know when you need a refresher. Let's see. Whoop! Well, that kind of reduces the, uh... That's fine. <clears throat> One more time. We could have gotten all three of them. Tasty no-scope, but no. I guess it's not a no-scope. It's kind of the opposite of a no-scope. <laughs> How'd you crawl up the stone without a butt to aim for? That's just how good I am, baby. <laughs> yeah! All right, let's just take the not garbage parts of this loot drop. Okay. Cool. That's everything. Oh, hey, we have cold resistance. That's actually useful for where we are. No. No. Okay, let's get you out of there. Good. All right, let's get that Lorb and get out of here. There's one more shrine I had marked in this area, but while we have cold resistance, we might want to book it over to the Lucky Clover Gazette and just get that started. Maybe even see if we can get close to Rito Village and start that quest line. Not because I want to do the Rito Village quest line right now, but because I think having it started might unlock some things back in Lookout Landing. <laughs> Right, we gotta aim for the big spooky hurricane. I remember. I remember. <laughs> Breath of the Wild plot, I forgore. Okay. Uh, do we have enough stams to reach Rito Village from here? I just don't know. Actually, where is the Lucky Clover Gazette? Uh, it's down there somewhere. It's probably fine. Nothing ventured! Oh, we definitely do not have sufficient stamps for this. Ugh, I guess we can take the bridge. Whatever. Whatever! Playing as intended in this house? Pfft, come on, man. Alright. Fine, we'll try the bridge. And then we'll do the other thing. Ugh, it's not even that cold. I'm wasting my spicy peps. We should probably go back into the depths and uh, do more nightmare stuff. <clears throat> In fact, what we should probably do is search around for treasure chests with armor in. 
even if we don't have the sensor that would make that significantly easier. Because somebody refuses to advance his dialogue tree until I do something completely unrelated in the plot. Thanks, Robbie. You live to make my life more complicated. Ooh, I feel like there's a shrine up there with the ancient columns, but we'll deal with that later. There might also be a Lionel up there, I don't remember. Where the hell is Hans? Hans has not been taken out of storage yet because I haven't been to a stable that hasn't had some kind of serious structural problem. Why is my controller shaking? Ah! I see! No thank you. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just, uh... I'll just come back later. You seem really busy. You know, <laughs> the rolling stone gathers no moss, am I right? <laughs> okay. Stop playing Metallus music. I pretend I do not see it. See, it's not even here. Thank you. I feel much less stressed now. Anyway, back to business. Into the cold zone. Uh -huh. Oh boy, that looks like a problem. Someone should really deal with whatever that is. Oh, I forgot to take a picture of the talus. Okay. Um, where the hell is the Lucky Clover Gazette? I'll deal with it later. For now, we'll just beeline and hope for the best. Oh, I think I see it. I see smoke! And where there's smoke, there's pen. <laughs> is he called that because, like, he's a reporter who writes and it's like, pen is mightier than... This. Is that is that why? Is that why... Why didn't I think of that before? What's, what's happening with me, even? Whoop! Kind of hoping I could ascend through that rock, but it thinks I was mistaken. <laughs> given that there was no rock under it on which I could stand. Okay, quick, we gotta make the most of these peps. Otherwise I'll be forced to put on actual pants. Like some kind of responsible adventurer. Oh boy. Oh, this place looks different. You know, I probably should have marked on my map where that smoke trail was. It's fine. We'll just get higher up. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. I really like that in this game, all of the threats that Ganon causes are, like, things that you would have had... Ooh. We'll get that later. Like, informative kids' cartoon episodes, very special episodes about... Hey! No thank you, sir. But, like, you know... Oh, the Rito are experiencing devastating knockdown impacts of climate change. And the Zora are struggling with pollution. And the Gorons have discovered drugs. <laughs> it's just like... Wow, he really is just like all the bad guys, isn't he? Stop throwing shit at me, for God's sake. Okay, we did it. Let's start this one. Get Pen going. Hello! Shh! Tracy, our editor here, is getting ready for our big Princess Zelda investigation. You hear about our newspaper, right? Then you can talk to me too. Oh. I'm next in charge. <gasps> Wait a minute! It's you! Wait, we talk- Oh yeah! He was out at Lookout Landing. We've met before. It's quite a hike from Lookout Landing when you haven't got wings, but here you are! Was it easy to find the place? Some folk passed by without a second look. After all, it was a stable until Tracy cheated the previous owner out of it. But you don't miss a thing, do you? Not bad. Not bad at all. I assume you came for the job. You want to work for the newspaper, right? I'll vouch for you with Tracy. Ah. 
Just picture it. Traveling the world as a reporter, shining light on the truth. We'll be partners out there. Uh, hey! Quiet! Uh, Don't you listen, Pen? I told you I was busy, but you keep bothering me. And another thing, I bought this place from the owner after we came to a fair, mutually beneficial agreement. Could you stop telling people I cheated him out of it? Uh, sorry, Tracy, but there's a new applicant for a reporter job. I wanted you to know. Huh? New applicant? Hey, didn't I meet you in Gerudo Town one time? You look like... Uh -huh. le le hey, sorry, Pen, but could you give me and this guy a second here? Oh, right, because Pen has no idea who we are. <laughs> it's a real Clark Kent and Lois Lane situation. Uh -huh. All right, how about you give me the whole story, Link? I'm the editor of the Lucky Clover Gazette here, if you couldn't tell so. Don't worry, I know everyone involved with this story. Pur asked us for help digging into what's happened to Princess Zelda. Now tell me everything. What exactly brought you here? Well, you see... I woke up with no pants, or ponytail, or arm, or sword, or girlfriend. So that's why she's asked you to investigate places seriously impacted by the upheaval. Ah. Well, coming here was a great call. What I mean is, we're getting tips from all over Hyrule. So many, in fact, that it's been hard to keep up. And among those tips, we've been hearing about someone who looks like the princess appearing in all sorts of places. Ah. I was about to assign Penn to chase those leads, but he could use a partner. I won't tell Penn who you are. It's better if no one knows you're involved. <laughs> Tracy, why? What do you say? Think you could work with him as we investigate? Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do this for free, though that would be nice. Wait just a second. I'm gonna get you a little incentive from the back. Here we go. Ta-da! Clothes! The full set of froggy armor! With that on, it's easy to cling to wet surfaces. No slipping! You work with Pen to chase down all these news stories? Then I'll give you this armor, piece by piece. All yours. Pretty good deal there, Link. Anyway, that's my offer. Pen, you can come back in! Pen's like, I, w I wasn't eavesdropping. Ah. Starting now, this guy's your partner. Huh. Well, if our editor here says you're in, looks like I had you sized up right. Tracy knows how to pick him. Ah. Alright, you two, here's what you're gonna do. Visit every stable for leads. Pen, you'll head this all up. Stable's bringing people, people bring... Get me some news! Alright, side quest started! Great! Mission accomplished. And we've still got two minutes of cold resistance. Let's see if we can cheese our way over without having to collect all the wood we need to fix this. Probably not, though. Uh, Alright, hello. Whoa. I guess you have business in Rito Village. Sorry to disappoint. Bridge is down. Supply shipments, mm. no bridge. Cold. Uh huh. No way to treat the. All right, who wants to fix this? Hello, who do I talk to about fixing this thing? Eh, maybe I can cheese my way over. Maybe. Probably not, though. Ugh, whatever. We got the Lucky Clover Gazette. That's kind of all I wanted. Let's see. Where did I mark a... Uh... Oh, yeah, there's a shrine that I want to get. Let's do that. And let's deal with the rest of this nonsense later. Ooh. You have to- oh, I see. You have to cheese it with pine cones. That makes sense. Well, we'll do that later. Get the shrine first, put on some pants, then we'll cheese it with pine cones. Speaking of which, thank you. Ah, there we go. You can only fix the bridge once the- oh, that makes sense. Again, I keep forgetting the order in which these things have to happen. Because I just kind of sped through it all in a fugue state over the course of, like, two weeks. Okay. Nice of the weather to be, like, cold forever. Okay. And let's just zip it real quick. I like how often the game will be like, you could climb all the way up this cliff face, or you could walk under this convenient underhang. Oh, that's less convenient. I'd even go so far as to call this downright inconvenient. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, do I have any, like, flaming weapons? No. That's fine. I definitely have some flint.
Man, stop it. Of course I can take it out here. What are you doing? Yeah. Nope, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. And... Ha! Yeah! See, we're fine. Let's go. And there we go. Oh, yeah, I guess fire fruit would also work. Eh, it's fine. We're learning. All right, what's this? Ooh, more devices. Ah, more devices. Oh, hoo Normally, I don't like these very much, but I'll make an exception if it's for rockets. So, do I just launch the rocket straight, or... I guess so. Huh, how about that? Mm, that doesn't feel like a good launch position. Let's try that. A little better. <gasps> yeah, bullseye! Alright, next! Oh, right, let me also sh fuse that other rocket to the shield. Ooh! They replenish! Even better! We're gonna have all rocket shields for the foreseeable future. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> well, don't mind if I do. Let's... And one on the Hylian shield, just for kicks. Just for shits and gigs. Perfect. <clears throat> As I was saying. Well, you know, if you insist. I guess I could be... Oh, I need to get the rockets from the other room and put them in this room. I get it. Okay, cool. Normally, they don't make you take things from one room to another. But that's okay. I'm willing to improvise. And yeah, why not? This is one more for flavor. Just to see what happens. And then we're gonna see what happens if we... Come on, man. If we even cheese our way into Rito Village, start that quest line... Go back to Lookout Landing to turn in some some tasty some tasty lorbs for another heart, maybe. Do a bunch more shrines, because that is kind of the aim of the game. Do you guys remember what I said we were going to do at 8k? I trust you to be honest with me about this. Whoa! <laughs> okay, Link. I've observed a slight design flaw in our rocket minecart stratagem. Put a little too much sriracha on that one. We're gonna try again with only one rocket. Does that sound fair? Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, that looks like a nice, safe place to put a rocket. Oh, okay, cool. Well, you know what they say. If it's stupid and it works, it isn't stupid. Uh, what the hell am I supposed to? Oh boy. Nothing about that feels safe to me. I'd go so far as to say this is stupid, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs> I don't think this is how you're supposed to do it. If this doesn't work, I'll just use my rocket shield and just go up. Sound fair? Cool. Yeah, this is not how you're supposed to do that for sure. Well. You lied to me, chat. <laughs> I guess we'll just try gluing more rockets to this one minecart and see what happens. I foresee no terrifying consequences. 
Come on. I want to reposition you to be more symmetrical. If there's one thing I've learned from my no experience in engineering, it's that symmetry always works. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens. <laughs> huh! How about that? Whoop! Oh! <laughs> cool. Awesome. Yay! Alright, that was fun. Let's put on our cold weather pants because we're about to enter the cold weather zone. Anyway, do you guys remember what I said we would do at 8K? Because I don't. Oh no, it's chilly. Ah! There, you whiner. No, it's fine. I'm only cold if my knees and both my boobs are uncovered. If any three of them are covered, I'm fine. Gleok! That's right, we were going to go pick another fight with the Colosseum Gleok just to see what happens. Ooh, we might be able to cheese this even without the pinecone. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing, I say. It is this boldness that defines the spirit of the true explorer. An adventurer! Yeah, see? We're fine. Who even needs hints and pine cones, which the game will not stop bombarding me with? Holy crap! People keep donating large sums of money. Which is cool and good because we are supporting a worthy cause. Sticking it to the studios. And the man. Ooh, I'll take that. Whatever that is. Boing. Okay. Ooh, could always use more of those. Alright, let's start whatever this side quest is. And if they start directing us to do anything else, we're just gonna we're just gonna go back to lookout landing. This is supposed to be a shrine grind. <clears throat> There's so much goddamn game in this game. We can do so much game without ever brushing up against the things that we should be doing in the stream. Although, while we're here... Uh... Cool. Sitting right on the quest objective. Which means it's probably... Uh -huh, above me. Great. I may not have wings, but I can ascend in my own way. Oh, Ravali would spit if he could see this. Am I in the right place? Not yet. Come on. Come on. Ugh. He's being so whiny about this. There, see? Much better. Oh, there's a shrine here that we should get. Ah, eh, we'll do that later. Oops! <laughs> I swam into a cutscene. Can handle it. Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. <laughs> this is the tired dad's game. If we don't do anything, the village. Huh? Huh? Is that you? Hi, Tulin. I think they artfully repositioned me, so I was it a little bit you. more appropriate for the cutscene. Oh, he's so fucking cute! Ah! Tulin is the only uh, character whose power I use on the regular anyway. At least on purpose. Hi, Teva. Mm. They told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. Remember that piggyback ride we shared? Good times. <laughs> Didn't commemorate it with a statue or anything. Could you imagine? Ah. Very nice to see you again. Huh. You remember my son, Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Dad, don't embarrass me in front of the hero of time and the wild and stuff. <laughs> as long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. Ah, I'm already fully fledged, you know. I got a ponytail and everything. When I ace today's scouting trip, you can all keep wasting your time treating the song of the storm when dark like it's real, but not me. 
I'm gonna destroy you all with facts and logic. Wee! <laughs> Listen, you. <laughs> Don't you fly away from me, young man. Unbelievable. Tulin wants me to let him go find what's causing the blizzard, and he's having trouble hearing no. <laughs> Ninja the Sun? It's all a folk song here in Rito Village. When we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims the song that's been passed down through generations. Mm. It's a song for children, mind you. Few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Parrot? Is that like a... Is that like a microaggression for Rito? Still, every now and then you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval and it seemed less far-fetched. Even if the song of the storm and dark is just a children's rhyme, I suspect that there is something lurking high in the sky. But the air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. Similar to that other thing that happened last time you were here, but, you know, we don't need to get into that. We need to make careful preparations to find the truth, but Tulin, he thinks we cling to that song out of cowardice. Huh. But these are Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? Well, you see, my ponytail and girlfriend and... <gasps> what? This is terrible news! So then not even Hyrule Castle is safe. Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomenon around the world are related somehow. Hmm. We Rito would ordinarily love to contribute to your search. But this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping, and food is grown scarce. Everyone I can spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. Mm. Yada yada, village elder. Oh no, the owl died? Wish there was something huh. I could do. Ah, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. Uh, bonfires. Ugh. Alright, we're gonna get the shrine and then we're gonna leave. So much to do. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? Oh, we got Tulin's profile! Yay! What the hell is that shrine I kept seeing in the- like, I kept seeing it like at the edge of the cutscenes, but now I'm all turned around. Alright, we're gonna get up to here and we're gonna take a- take a tasty look around. Ooh! Mark that for later. <clears throat> okay. And let's just turn that into a tasty little stamp. Perfect. All right, anyway, back to business. Where's that shrine? Where's that damn fourth shrine? Oh, <laughs> Good news, guys, I found it. There's another one I kept seeing. Oh, it's up there. That would probably kill me. It's probably too cold up there, but I'll mark it for later anyway. <clears throat> Whew. Oh boy. I'm getting a little stretching in. Alright, what do we got? Got a device, got a challenge. Ooh! A flying challenge. Yeah, I think we can probably do that. Maybe. We got the stams for it. Oh! I see why this is a challenge now. Oh! Oh! No! <laughs> Alright. We'll try that again, but this time more verticality. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't need to rub it in. Okay. Okay. You know what I hope the DLC adds? More stuff happening in the Zonai Forge Island. It's huge, and it's got that cool laser grid, and then it's just like a shrine. Not even a lot else going on. Hey now. Uh. Ha! Ah. Woo! A little scary. Won't lie. A little unnerving. Fucking quit it. Stop slamming me into the ceiling, bro. Alright, fine. One at a time. Oh god, my stamps! Bro, stop it. All right, where are we going next? Was I even supposed to be in here? Oh, yeah, I was. All right, we'll deal with- Ah! Okay, we're outie. Cool. So worth it. I'm sure there's a hidden treasure chest in there somewhere. I don't care.
But yeah, I was kind of hoping the Zonite Forge Island would have, like, an ore vending machine, or maybe it was a place you could get Zonite armor. Kind of like how Robbie's, like, forge thing in the first game would get you the uh, Sheikah, like, the ancient armor set that you couldn't get anywhere else. I just thought that would be neat. And then it didn't. So I'm hoping DLC adds a little bit more. I feel like the Sky Islands are the place where they could stand to add the most with DLC, because there's so much cool stuff that they could do with it. And I'm firmly a proponent for more Sky Islands, even higher up. But, you know, it's just because I like this game. And even though I say there's so much game, I also want there to be more game. You know how it is. Okay. Oh, let's just get this Korok real quick. See, I get Korok sometimes. Yeah. Yeah has a distinct smell. Thanks, I know I'm collecting poops. Okay. <gasps> Great, we got the shrine, and we got the... Cool, that cave is useful for absolutely nothing. Good to know. Good to... Good to... Super cool. Rad and heck. Okay. Uh... The shrine's pretty high up there. Probably easier to get a tower first. And as we know, we're not doing that. So, let's see. What else do I have marked? Oh, yeah! Oh, excuse me. Those things to the south that I got distracted. Alright, let's go here first and then check it out. I do really like the idea of Cass being on the higher sky islands. That would be fun. Everyone's always like, oh, if only I could get up on those sky islands. You know, like I, like, like I have wings or something, you know, all the adventures you run into on the ground. Like, man, I had a dream about the Sky Islands, but oh, it's such a shame. Huh. It's cool that that's still there from the previous game. Oh, wait a minute. Let's just real quick make sure we don't get struck by lightning. Cool, we're good. But yeah, that, uh, where was it? That, like, lightning mark was a puzzle in the previous game. And I think it's cool that it's here again. There's a Korok down there. But I shan't be giving it the time of day, I'll tell you that much. I'm a busy hero with places to be. I can put my pants off again. Perfect. You know, they say freeze out, knees out. I don't think we can get to that uh, star fragment in time. Well, more importantly, I don't think we can climb that cliff in the rain. <laughs> we could always kind of skirt around the geoglyph, pretend we do not see it. Don't go in the direction of the lightning. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see. What else can we do this time? Oh yeah, I guess the 8k we go pick a fight with that Gliok again, see what happens. I do want to try getting up on a dragon's back. Like, I don't have any of the armor that would save us from, you know... Excuse me, sir. I'll deal with those guys later. Oh, I forgot about the Lionel. Can I? Nope. Okay, cool. That'd be too easy. Maybe if we hit 8k like right now, I'll go fight that Lionel with six hearts and no good weapons. Or maybe if we hit 8k before I get done with that shrine over there. And then, just to be fair, we'll also go pick a fight with that Gliok in the Coliseum. Just to see. Just to see what happens. Oh, heck yeah. Alright, come here, you. Hopefully this is a quick one so I don't need to risk that Lionel thing. 
fun would it be if one of those sign guys turned out to be Giga Clan? <laughs> be like that would be what a twist. I would never see that one coming. Oh, again. Ugh. Fine, we'll do it this way. You guys like this? Why do you do this to me? Okay. All right, what do we got? Stacking a path? I love path stacking. Mm. It's a pretty simple stack. No brain. I know the complexities are yet to come. Soon I will be the path stacking champion. And let's oh, yeah. Stack that path. All right, let's get up here. Wow, what a puzzle. All right, cool. Damn. You know, they don't call me Link the Hero of Path Stacking for nothing. No. All right, fine. Fine. I shall resist the urge to... It's pretty... Uh... But how? Oh, you probably need to ascend into there from underneath, don't you? Maybe. Well, let's do that later. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's how I expected that to work. You know what? We can absolutely cheese this. 100%. Let's see, what are we gonna do with this? Okay, let's put you down here, and then up there, and then, and then up there, and then, oh, I think I did that in reverse. Yes, okay. But I have the right idea. That's what I wanted to do. Alright. So first we're gonna just... Hup. And then we're gonna... Hup. And now we just... Hup. And... Boop. And... Yeah! <laughs> oh! Recall is the most broken thing they could have put in this game, and I'm so happy that it's here. I guess I could have used the rocket shield, but this way's more fun, okay? Look, if Zelda didn't want me to break the fundamental laws of physics for shits and gigs, she shouldn't have given me the recall ability. <laughs> Greatest magic of all. Friendship? No, it's chronomancy. <laughs> ah, well, I'm still a little bit short of 8k, so I don't need to go fight that Lionel. Which is good because I don't remember where he is, and I don't particularly want to find out. But let's make things fair. If I can get to that... Where the hell is that other shrine? Is it, like, on top of this mountain? Okay. Oh, come back here. Alright. Well, I didn't get the dragonfly. <clears throat> anyway. That shrine is up here somewhere. Maybe if we hit 8k before I finish that shrine that's marked in pale blue on the map, then I shall 
then I'll go fight that Lionel. The thing is, like, it's a red Lionel, so I'm feeling just a little bit overconfident. Not a lot overconfident. It won't be hilarious if I lose. It'll just be like a thing that happens. How the hell am I supposed to? Are we really near? Oh, wait a minute. This leads into the Gerudo Highlands, doesn't it? Oh. Not only is it really hard to get around here and cold, there's a Gleok up here somewhere. <laughs> okay, come on. Let me up. Ah, oh, falling rock elevator. That would be sure useful if I could get to it. I am planning on returning to the depths. I've just gotten sidetracked doing... Ugh. Let's just try not to deal with that if we can help it. Uh-oh, it's playing the music of... I'll deal with that later. Oh my god! Oh god! <laughs> Woo! Taking my life into my fucking hands with this one. Quick! <laughs> Lure him away! Oh, there he goes. All right, let's eat a little food real quick. Just a little, just a skosh. I should also probably cook later. That's fine. Anyway, yes, I'd like to go back to the depths, but I want to get an even divisible by four number of lorbs first so we can go back to Lookout Landing, turn those all in with the goddess statue, you know, check in with our homegirl, Hylia. It's just, and it's marked, it's like, it's nearby on the map, but I think it might be on top of a cliff. Ugh. It's fine. It's cool. We're chill, and everything is great. So what if this is definitely not an area of the game we're supposed to be in yet, and that's why black bacoblins are just spawning by default? Whatever, man, right? We are adventurers, and this is par for the course. Oh yeah, and I want to go back to Lookout Landing and talk to Pura, and talk to uh, Robbie and the other lady, and see if they have anything for me other than, boy, depths sure are interesting. Anyway. Oh, great. It's one of those things that's carrying a guy. You'd love to see it. Come on, Link, my man. Who needs three whole wheels of stamina, right? It's just overkill at that point. We've got one and... Ooh, okay! Uppies. We need uppies now, thank you. Stop playing the fight music. They don't know where I am. Everything's fine and normal. Keep swimming. <laughs> Just keep swimming. Oh boy. Okay, fuck it. Whew. Just dodge and weave, bro. Just dodge and weave. I'm just gonna get to this big old updraft and then we're gonna be fine. Yeah! Oh, everything's coming up, Link! Oh, fantastic. Oh, damn it! This wasn't a shrine, it was just a thing. And it's too cold for me to be up here! Why did I do this? Alright. Well, that sucks. Uh... Pfft. Eh. Alright, if that's a cave... It won't be cold, so we'll just sprint in there real quick. Yeah, I know. I know it's cold. It's fine. We trained for this. What? Oh, how about that? Oh, fuck. <laughs> that... Okay. Mm have any shock fruits? I might have shock fruits. Do I have... Yes! Okay. Alright. 
I have no idea what this puzzle is or where we are or what we're about to unlock. What? Oh. Do I need the fucking sage power? All right, well, maybe there's a shrine in here that I don't need that for. Oh, hello. Exactly who I wanted to see. Is there a, is there a thing I can cheese? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Damn it, it's just a treasure chest. Ah! Come on. Okay. I could try it with the top bit, maybe. I only have five shock arrows, though, or shock fruits. Uh, do I have any? Oh, I don't want to waste my one topaz on this. Ooh, I just don't know. Uh, okay, uh... Let's see. I suppose I could... Um... Make a nice little shock staff or whatever with topaz. Oh yeah, and I will also save just in case I accidentally electrocute myself with this. Okay. Uh, where's my one topaz? <laughs> Such a waste. Okay. Great. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Alright, maybe like... Maybe like from the side, maybe like a, maybe just, no. Stop bouncing! <laughs> Why are you like this? This one really does need the sage power. <sighs> okay. <laughs> we did so much work to get here. All right, fine. Let's see if we can find a shrine in this area before we freeze to death, just so we can warp back here whenever we want. If I come up under a Gliok, I'm gonna fucking lose it. Okay, good, good, good start. Good start. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I know it's cold, it's fine. We have food. <laughs> we have weather resistance at home. Alright, we're gonna get up on this elevator rock, which I assume is an elevator rock. Because it's just sitting there menacing me. Yes, good, elevator rock time. Nope, not today, Satan. I said not today, Link. Don't embarrass me. Thank you. Good work. Okay. Uppies! What do we got? Any shrines? Oh! Well, I found the Gleok. Shrine. Is there anything closer, or is that it? Whoops! Well, I guess we're doing that one. Ooh, I should eat food before I die. You're fine. It's fine. Okay, so we'll go back to Lookout Landing after we get this Lorb. Um, and then we will... Turn those lobes in for hearts and stams. And we'll eat, and maybe we'll cook some food, just a little bit. Ah, he's fine. And we're gonna get a lorb in the, at the end of this, so it's all good. And this way we won't need to climb all the way back up next time. 
And hey, now we have this nice topaz weapon for us to use. <laughs> Whoop. Oh god, my stamps. <laughs> Sorry for stressing you guys out. I definitely don't pay enough attention to my stamps. Oh yeah, I guess we could also fuse something to a weapon. Let's see. I don't want to waste my rubies. Can I fuse like a fire fruit? Does that work? I feel like that doesn't work, right? Nah. <laughs> That's what we have food for, guys. It's fine. Maybe we can check out that depths chasm thingy, the, the one that we passed on the way down, too. Alright, hold on. Let me eat something real quick. Ugh, you big baby. It's fine. Look at all these mushrooms we got. See? Who needs cold weather gear? Ugh. Alright. No, thank you. Well, I guess we can kill it. Maybe just a little. Hey, 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 hey! Oh. Alright, cool. We'll deal with that later. I like the cold weather music that they play. Just the ambience. It's such good sound design. How do you make something sound cold? I wonder if you can like wiggle a Korok around and then reverse it. That could be fun. Oh, it's fine. All right, just a little bit more. Just a couple more mushrooms. Okay, let's talk to this little guy. What's up, man? My friend and I got separated. Ah, oh, wow. Sucks to be that guy. Oh, cool. Is that a shrine I see? <laughs> All right, let me just mark that on the map real quick. Uh, all right, Link. Calm down. Whoops. All right, fine. We'll do this one and then maybe come back for that one. Maybe we'll come back when we have actual cold weather gear and, like, food and stuff. Maybe. Oh, it's fine. Oh, boy. There we go. No need for the flourishes, Link. It's fine. Hmm. Alright, what do we got? A root for a ball? Oh boy, these are never tedious. Oh god damn it. Okay. I don't think this one's actually that bad. I just think I had trouble with it a while back. Okay. We'll get that. But only because it looks easy. Nope. Come on. Okay. We're gonna... Okay. Perfect. Yeah! Hopefully, starting the, um... <clears throat> Rito Village questline will be enough to have shifted some things around to look at landing. If not, it'll still be good to get in there and cook some food and talk to Pura and the others and all that jazz and stuff like that. But, you know, we've unlocked, like, the, um... Come on, please, 
stable quests, which are good to have. There we go. Come to Papa. Okay, cool. No, that's the opposite of what I want. Thank you. Whoop. Alright, let's see. This I remember being annoying. Got it. Uh, rack. Nope. Okay. Let's just rewind very slightly. Nope. There we go. Okay, cool. Huh. I lost so many balls down that chute before I figured out how to make it work. Yay, we did it! All right, Link, enjoy full health while you have it. <laughs> We're gonna be out in the cold again in a minute. be nice to have one more shrine though and there was that one back up in the valley ah we got plenty of mushrooms we can take a quick jaunt back it's fine i mean you know the real crime would be to not finish what we started right yeah see link agrees he's practically shivering with anticipation uh which direction was it again Maybe not. Was that blue thing down there a shrine? I genuinely can't remember at this point. Well, let's check it out. Yeah, just one more thing. Oh yeah, we should get fairies. That could be fun. That's some Sky Island stuff, though. Oh, right, I forgot about this. Now let's see whatever that other blue one is. I think I got my, my blue markers mixed up. Because there was the, the cyan marker that led to not the correct thing. <laughs> it led to that cave that I thought was interesting that I couldn't unlock and won't be able to until, like, the post-game. Well, not post-game, but, like, until after the halfway point. And then there was that one, which I'm pretty sure is, in fact, a shrine. <laughs> Oh, there are wells with fairies. That's cool. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I forgot. Freeze out, knees out. There we go. Oh, it's a geoglyph. Yeah, that makes sense. I gotta stop fucking marking stuff. You know what? Let's just... Let's just change this to... Uh, yeah, that makes more sense. All right, what about that perp over there? Purple looks like it could be a thing, right? All right. Spot any more shrines. Ooh. I'll absolutely mark that, however, for later. There we go. Perfect. Alrighty. Let's see. I know there are also, like, island or sky island shrines that we could do, but I think most of them are quests. Oh, that's fun. There's a little standoff happening between some Bokos and some, uh... Because the sentry constructs will just attack anybody. You know, they, they know no friend or foe. So you can sometimes thin the herd by, like, getting them to fight each other, which is always cool.
Hmm. Any shrines in the area? All oh, right, we were heading for that purple thing, whatever it was. I don't know. Ooh. That's always fun, though. Let's see. The 8K thing was, well, we're well out of Lionel range now, so fortunately I'm spared. But 8K is still going back to the Colosseum and fight that Gliok, or at least, you know, flail angrily at it, see what happens. Basically, just see if its laser breath still one-shots us. Because if not, we have an awful lot of mushrooms in our pocket. We could probably, I don't know, maybe cheese a little bit of it. Just a, just a skosh. Just a smidge. Could be fun. Okay. And then I think after we do our next lookout landing thing, it's back to the depths, baby. We're gonna get more light roots. Or actually, we're probably just gonna check out uh, those mines around where we got that light root last time. How far away is this fucking purple thing? Oh, it's past the tree. It's up on that mountain. Oh, that's Satori Mountain. I think. Hard to tell with absolutely no maps. Hmm. Might be worth it. Well, at least we're going to be nice and high up. Let's take a look around, see if we find anything. <laughs> Other than that. No, thank you, sir. You lose. Good day, sir. Ooh, fire fruits. Heck yeah. Those would have been helpful before, when I was freezing to death. Thank you. This is a Korok puzzle, isn't it? I can smell it. It is. I see you, villain. Alright. Let me up. Save me from having to climb. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, give me that. Yeah, that's almost. No! <laughs> Come on, man. There we go. See? Much better. Yeah. Ah, thank you. I can go hang out with Hestu and get a couple more inventory slots. Now that's what I call a grocery run. How far up Satori Mountain do we need to... Well, why not? Oh, you guys should watch- there's a new video from New Frame Plus, um, asking the question, uh, how many, like, Overland Traversal animations does Link have in Tears of the Kingdom? <laughs> it's a lot! Uh, this is also a Korok puzzle, but one I care about significantly less. Um, but yeah, it's a fun video, you guys should watch it. Also, like, basically everything else that guy has ever done. He's really knowledgeable about animation, it's, uh... It's kind of fun to watch a channel that just makes me feel like I'm getting smarter just by watching it. So, highly recommend. I know there's got to be a shrine on this fucking mountain. I can, I can just tell. I can smell it. They always put shrines on this mountain. But where is it? Why do I have a feeling I'm climbing this mountain from exactly the wrong direction? <laughs> They didn't want me to horse clip my way up. They shouldn't have made it so dang horse clippable. Ow.
that's okay. We have all this stamina food that we haven't been using. Uh, all right, maybe just a little. Just, just a skosh. Uh, yeah. Perfect. See? Everything is fine. Uh, and whoop, there we go. See? We just made it. Okay, back to business. Now that we're done climbing up that sheer cliff face for almost no reason. Where the hell is that shrine? Oh, fuck, it's like at the top. Oh, damn it. Swat. I swat at these, uh, cool. Mission accomplished. Oh, shit, there's more. Anyway, back to climbing this mountain. There's probably a cave that we could just use Ascend in, but meh. It's about the journey, not the destination. All right, let me up. Cool. More verticality, the better. And I'm just gonna assume that nothing bad is gonna happen. See? It's fine. We're not gonna do that. Cool. Hmm. Climb as intended, or scale a sheer cliff face out of spite. I wonder which will appeal to me. Oh, shit! Well, thanks to the anonymous person who just donated 200 whole dollars. Once I get this shrine, we're going straight to the Colosseum to see what happens. It's all coming together. <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're outside the window of me having to fight that Lionel, guys. Thank goodness. I uh, really don't know if Red Lionels are actually that easy or if I've only ever fought them long after I was overleveled for it. It's impossible to tell, really. Thinks I may have leapt too close to the sun on that one. No, see, we're good. We're good. Oh, God. The mountain is so scary. Speaking of scary. Hey, wait a second. There's my thingy. The thing that I... The pin, the marker on the map. It's like right over there. All right, well, let's find out what that thing is. I know it's not a geoglyph. Ooh, hello. Yeah. I'll take that. Thank you. I'll leave one for the, uh, for the ecology, of course. Oh, that is mad sus. What's going on, gang? What's with this, uh, what's with this little, little magic circle? <laughs> Nothing? Okay, cool. I'll just take all these Hyrule herbs. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay, cool. Bye. Okay. And let's just, uh, sidle on up. And over, and there it is. I knew it. I knew it. All right, let's just get that real quick, and then back to Lookout Landing, and then back to our, sorry, Coliseum first. Actually, we might need to get to Lookout Landing first, just because I think then we can launch ourselves into the air and actually fly to the Coliseum. So, okay, shrine. And then, Lookout Landing. Get a couple more hearts, see what happens. Fly to the Coliseum. See what happens. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing, I tells you. Everything's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Evening, fellas. Sorry, I guess it's morning. All right, bye, everybody. And just whoop, there we go. Whew. Okay, missing pathways. Oh boy, is it time for Long Bridge? 
Oh, wait. No, just kidding. This is one of the shrines I really like, because I love the ascend function. I love it so much. It's so easy. It makes everything better. Oh, no. In my hubris, I assumed that all I needed was ascend, when in actuality, what I needed was, like... Hold on. Okay, yeah, cool. Can I just... Nope, okay. Hold on a minute. Yeah, there it is. I see you, villain. Now, let's see. Perfect. Okay, anyway. Great. And next up. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Um... Right, let's see. What else do we got? Ah, I see. Of course. Of course. Simplicity itself. <laughs> Death approaches. A fine day for mayor. All right, let's just speed at and oh, nope, easy. Careful. Curb your exuberance, Link. And puppies, and out. Perfect. Great. Two more hearts in the bag. And maybe a little stamina. We could, we could probably stand to get a little more stamina. Just a little. Just a skosh. Great. Okay. Now we're going to scooch back to Lookout Landing. We're going to talk to... Robbie and, uh, what's her name, and Josha, Josha, and Pura, and update them on our situation. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna go fight the Colosseum Gliok for shits and gigs. And then, uh, we're gonna go back to the depths. Just do a bunch more light rooting, probably. Maybe follow those statues to the Gerudo thingy. See if we can find Master Koga again. No, actually, we're probably going to just check out those mines, because I know that every mine is hiding a treasure chest. And I might be able to find them even without the Shiga sensor, even if Robbie can't hook us up. Oh yeah, I guess we could have stood to get some apples, but that's okay. We can just warp back there whenever we want. That's the power of shrines, baby. All right. That doesn't look like they've made any progress. In fact, I would wager that they definitely haven't made any progress. Alright, where the hell is Pura? Come on, Pura, talk to me. You're the only person in this place I respect. Hey, girl. Popping by to make an appearance? I don't see any visible injuries. <laughs> Thanks, Pura. God damn it, Pura. I was just being polite. Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> Wow, forgetting? I guess that's in character for you. Girl, that is the rudest possible way to refer to that time I died. Mm -hmm. I know, I looked into the Hebra thing. I looked into the Hebra thing! I was there! For the record, I didn't need cold weather gear. I was fine. <sighs> what other village? Oh, Kakariko. Yeah, of course. Zone Eye Ruins, shaped like a ring. Mm. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Yep, Monster Control, Agnes. Check it. Okay, bye, Pura. Great, fantastic. Um, all right, got a statue. Maybe we could turn in some of those, ooh, Hestu's over there. Okay, got a statue, Hestu. Turn some of those crystal charges into a battery. Then we fight a Gliok. Oh, the hell's the goddess statue? There she is. There's my girl. Hello. Hearts. I desperately need hearts. I also need stamina, but we gotta fucking prioritize. I'm about to pick a fight with a Gliok for no reason, so we gotta be smart about this. Boop.
Yeah. Spurp. Thanks, Hylia. Thank you. Great. <laughs> this guy stands chance. Okay. Back we go. Uh, I said, there we go. The thing is, we, like, looked at Josha and Robbie, and Josha has not assembled more of that map thing that she needs to assemble. And Robbie is still st fucking standing around being like, Whoa, boy, something better happen one of these days. So, I am pretty convinced that we need to do the Hebra thing before. But let's just check, let's just check what's up, Robbie. You got anything for me? Good morning. Nope. All right. Yeah. Hey, Josha, I went down to hell. And it sucked. Yeah. Okay, fine. All right, where's the battery lady? There it is. Everyone's so shocked when I swim out of solid rock. Come on, guys. How long have you known me? This is not that weird. Hello. Hello. Whoop. Sorry, I got a little close there. Restore refinery. Yes. Give me an energy well. Do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Yeah. That's my robot pal. Don't you want a pal? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Huzzah! Charges. Okay. Wow. Thank you. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. All right. Let's go to the Colosseum, which is, like, here? I think we can get there from here. I think. I think. Oh, I forgot about Hestu. All right, we'll deal with him later. We'll come back later for Hestu. It's the problem. There's just too much stuff happening, man. Everything is hard all the time, forever. Coliseum? Did I remember that correctly? Okay, Great Plateau. It's like there, so I think... I feel like this is the Coliseum, right? Alright, that Korok is gonna have to deal. And whoop. The thing is, we do need to go to Hateno for the sensor, but also we can't go to Hateno until Robbie is like, let's go to Hateno. And Robbie doesn't want to do that yet because I haven't done unrelated shit yet. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. It's cool. I'm not mad. Why would I be mad? I'm kind of glad that the game doesn't just 100% let you do everything out of order. It's it's kind of a trade-off from the way that Breath of the Wild was structured. Because in Breath of the Wild, it's like, hey man, if you want to take your fucking life into your hands, you can go to the castle whenever you want. Come on, Link, you got this. Okay, great. We're back up at our piddly maximum stamina. Um, and I kind of respect that this game is like, no man, you got a fucking job to do. And you don't have the benefit of amnesia. Or a single absentee father ghost telling you what to do and being like, you should do this thing, but maybe not just yet. And that's it. Now you've got Pura, who is much too sensible to let you do that. <laughs> I do kind of like that, like, the efforts to find Zelda and save Hyrule are, like, kind of organized in this game. There it is. I knew it was around here somewhere. And I like that Pur is the one in charge of organizing it. That's cool. Because she's really good at it. Whoop. Okay, cool. All right. There he is. All right. Let's, let's be serious about this. We've got the Demon King bow, which is now slightly better than our shittiest bow. Mighty Construct bow, which is pretty good. 
got a Hylene shield with a rocket on it. The best kind of weapon. We got... Uh, if we could theoretically stun it, this would be good to do damage with. Oh, hold on. I remember. We need all the stamina we can get for this one. Hi. Ugh. Okay, it is not stunned. Ooh, okay. So each bow shot did about a third of its health. Actually, hold on. We also want to get not struck by lightning. Which severely limits the weapons we can use. <laughs> Great. But it's still possible. And we might not be in the one-shot zone. Technically. It's still technically possible. And this is our strongest bow at present, so there's only so much we can do with that. Let's try... Yeah, let's try the death. Ooh! Oh boy, getting a little close for comfort there, my friend. Let's see what we got. Where am I hiding all my dazzle fruits? There they are. Hey, you stop charging that up right now. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Ooh. Maybe it'll lose track of us. Nope, it didn't do that. It did not do that. <laughs> it knows where we are. Oh! One hit protection! We're fine! I mean, we're not fine, but like, we're mostly fine. Okay, what do we got? Uh, no, come on. Nah, no. Uh, maybe just a little bit. Okay, and it's fine. It's fine. No, you stop that right now. You're time for a timeout, young man. Ha! Ah! Get down there! Yeah, all right. I don't care about the risk of being struck by lightning. We're using our one good weapon. Oh, baby. <laughs> that is not doing very much, is it? Come on, buddy. I think we've got him on the ropes. Oh no, my one good weapon! Here, thank you, Sarah. Whoop! Alright, are we gonna accept death? Oh, hold on, I forgot about getting struck by lightning. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Let's just go for the door, bud. Let's just, let's just... Come on. Eh. Woo! Easy, easy. How about that? We didn't die. And I'm sure it won't leave the Coliseum to try and kill us! Oh, baby! Where you at, dog? Where you hiding? Oh, cool, it's still mad. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Alright. Everyone agree we gave that our best shot? Cool. Great. Let's go back to Lookout Landing. Talk to Hestu. Cook. Maybe sleep in a bed. Get some hearts back that way. See, the thing is, you're all telling me food and eat and stuff, but like... We don't have that much food. And it wouldn't help. Where'd <laughs> you get back in there right now? Come on, man. We're doing chip damage. We nearly broke our one good weapon on its scaly hide. All right, where the hell is Hestu? Where are you hiding, you big tree broccoli man? We should talk to Purr again and see if she still says, Huh, you don't look injured. Oh yeah, I just got tail swiped across an entire coliseum. I'm fine. It's nothing a good night's sleep can't cure. Or a single healthy meal. Do you hear something? Sometimes I hear like I feel like I hear a voice coming from that well over there. What? Shakalaka! I smell Korok seeds! Yes. 
Expand my inventory. Try weapons. Perfect. He really is peak character design, isn't he? Yay! Make room for more bows. Perfect. <clears throat> oh, beautiful. This <laughs> is the Korok in front for censoring. This dude doesn't have anything down there. He's a tree. Yeah, I'll bring you Korok seeds. You'll be the first to know. Hey, you guys got a bed I can crash in real quick. I don't feel so good. Oh, right, but I was gonna cook food first. Let's cook some food! Maybe, maybe we'll, maybe we'll sleep just a little bit first. Uh, let's sleep until night. It's still only, like, a little bit afternoon. We're taking a siesta. It's healthy. <clears throat> Trees can have twigs and berries. Come on, man. Hey, Red, why are you dying? Oh, I couldn't tell you. You know, everything gets a little fuzzy after I show up at the Colosseum with the Thundercleoc in it. Oh, look at that. A free heal, and we didn't even need to eat food. Okay, what do we got? Oh, we got so many things we can cook. This is great. Let's just drop that bad boy in there for a tasty free heal. Nice. Now that we have a not insignificant, I mean, it's pretty insignificant, but now that we have some hearts, just put those bad boys in there. There we go. See, now we have some healings that are actually going to, like, actually fucking do something. Beautiful. Let's just one, two, three, and then let's uh, uh yeah, let's do a little bit of like armor and stuff. Perfect. Lots of greens in our diet. Got anything else interesting? Or yeah, we can make some mighty bananas. Some more Hylian herbs. Nope, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Uh. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we have fish? When do we get those? Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, we'll take some staminas. Just a little bit of stams. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's probably fine. <clears throat> All right, back to hell. All right, let's see. And of course, to go down first, we will go up. And I do want to keep an eye out for shrines on the way down again, because I know we got most of the ones I could immediately see, but it would be... Oop, there's one over there, for instance. Good to get. And I think there might be a... F there's two, actually. Perfect. All right. One... Two. Nice. What else do we got? Three. Ooh, the stable, no less. Perfect. I feel like I'm forgetting. I mean, I'm forgetting like 130 at this point, but you know. I marked that one off. And there's a stable down there that I think we must have already gotten the shrine for. Yeah, we really haven't gone east of Hyrule Castle at all, so there's probably a bunch of shrines that we can get in that general area without having to range too far. Which would certainly be nice for me. Did I already mark? I did. Okay, cool. Alright, we'll play the rest of that by ear. Gotta watch our stands. 
Wait, I forgot I could just warp to a light route. Why am I doing this? Well, we can dive down and then warp to a light route. That could be fun. Why not, right? Self-care. Is there a blood moon since the last time we fought that frox? Maybe we could fight another one. All right, great. That was fun. Ah, uh, well, we can always explore our way into the dark a little bit. You know. For fun. Ah, why not? This is the going to hell stream. Could always use more resources. I'll take that, and I'll take those, and we'll just get some more light roots on the way, and... Probably run afoul of something horrifying in the... Or just have to skirt around a giant, massive lake of gloom that will kill us and hurt the whole time we're dying. Just super carefully. Super surreptitiously. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Alright, what do we got over here? Something good? Something shiny. No. Something that does like five damage. Okay. Well, thanks for trying, man. Cool. Okay. Cool. Get some verticality. Uh, that's just going back the way we came. Can we keep an eye out? Oh, there's a light route over there. Well, oh, that's, that's a pretty far, it's a pretty fucking far light route. And I'm out of pins because I keep marking things on the map that I can't check out until later. That's, whoop, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, don't like any of that. That's not much better, to be honest. <laughs> well, Ooh. what the hell is that? Cool, Gloom Talus. Something that will kill us extra hard. No, thank you, sir. Alright, if this place gets too feisty, we're just gonna warp back to that mine and then look around for a fun treasure chest, see if they give us, you know, part of an armor set. Oh, okay. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Guys, come on. Why are you like this? I don't like that these things aren't going down in one hit. No, why would you land in the puddle? Alright, let's just real carefully. Floor is lava, floor is lava. Okay. Where's the rest of it? Cool. Alright, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's just, <clears throat> just take a little... A little jaunt, a little self care. We should figure out something for 9k. We could probably pick a fight with another frox. Or maybe even the same frox if it's respawned, which it probably has. Hmm. Or. Well, I suppose we could always just follow that chain of cool statue ladies. That does sound pretty funky, fresh, and fun. Alright, we'll start heading in that general direction after we check out the nightmare that is down here. Ooh. 
Oh, I hate how this feels. Look at this shit. Ooh, what's that thing? Oh, that's, uh, is that where we were? Oh, it looks like it might be. Yeah, I think that's different, actually. That's somewhere we haven't been before. All right, we'll check that out next. After all, this is the checking out Hellstream. Oh, yeah, look at that. Gotta collect all the dead guys. Just me with a bunch of ghosts in my pocket. This is the hero of the wild and his 41 dead friends. All right, what do we got? Yeah! We got the glow pants! The only pants I respect in this game. <laughs> oh, it's not a good combination. Oh, that doesn't work. But I'll take it. Alright. Well, we can always, uh... Ooh, hello rockets. Yes, I will add you to my collection. I'd like to show you my collection. These shiny things I kind of stole. Oh, no! I'm out of shields I can fuse rockets to. But that's okay. I'm not out of ideas. What the hell are the mine cards? Where are they hiding? You cannot hide your mine cards from me. Okay, well, we'll just go up and check. Oh, are they all the way up there? Ugh, that's stupid. Whatever, man. I'll just go by foot. I don't care. I'll be inefficient as fuck. We're just gonna walk over to that spooky thing I saw, and you're gonna like it. Anything in here? Looks like no. Except for the potential for more uppies. Hell yeah. Cool. Alright, let's just get you. And, uh... You. Okay. Mm, no thank you. Oh, I think I might remember what this is. I mean, uh... Emergent gameplay! Ooh, this is discovery. Yeah, it's the same statue, guys. And you know what that means. Where the hell does this lead? See? They got minecarts. They got tons of minecarts. Alright, what is this place? Why is it so spooky? Tells me nothing, but that is all right. The thrill of discovery carries me onward. All right, come here, you. And let me just hub it, and just a little whoop. And let's see where this is taking us. Woohoo! Ooh, thanks, I get it already. Ooh, it's awful. Oh, everything is spooky, and I don't like it. Hey, wait a second. We were just here. No, my rockets! Alright, fine. Whatever. Uh... Huh. Does this just lead back the way we came? I think it might. Is this under the Great Plateau? I think it is. Okay, I know what this is. It's a really annoying side quest. But we can at least check it out. Maybe get it started. Actually, I think maybe we have to be up on the surface to get it started. It didn't occur to me how annoying it is to um, find treasure chests without the sensor. <laughs> I really got a little bit accustomed to just having it, didn't I?
But we got the miner's pants, and that's really... Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> cool. But yeah, we got... Stop it. Oh, that's... There we go. As far as I'm concerned, this is already a win. We got pants. And... Yeah, come on. Come on. Great. Let's go. Oh, yeah, that's a little nauseating. Okay. Why is someone sharing Civil War history? Oh, yeah, we should go up and look at the uh, lady statues. Ta da! Welcome to the Absolute Unit. And all of his ghost friends. Yay! And a treasure chest, which you know we are getting right now. Come here, you. What do you got for me this time? Harcha! Great! So worth it. You can ascend up those. I feel like probably not, but now I'm curious. Because if so, I'm never using the elevator again. No, it's too. Oh, aha! Look, I knew it. I knew it. Wow! I wouldn't have let me ascend up those. Oh, but that's too high. I see how it is. Ugh. Alright, fine. Fine, I guess we'll play as intended or whatever. Come on, let me up. Make it snappy, please. I do not have the battery power for a prolonged elevator ride. Thanks, guys. Okay. Oh, boy. There he is. What's up, my man? Let's chat. I'm trapped under the water behind the stone gate of the Great Plateau. Cool! So worth it! Will you let me up? No, that would be too easy. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. Let's follow them lady statues wherever they may lead. So basically that guy kicks off a uh, fetch quest that takes you all over the Great Plateau. It's not that bad. It's a little annoying. Um, but uh, yeah, he's uh, by far the most... Oh, hey. This is exactly where we were before. Wish I could remember where the uh, treasure chest is. I guess when in doubt, uppies? Oh no, too far. Fine. Whatever. Maybe this way? Or perhaps that way? Probably not that way. Maybe this way? Ooh, it's so mysterious. The fact that we're using stairs when we could just be swimming up through the ceiling. How novel. How gauche. I do like that Zonai architecture is very clearly designed for, like, most of us can just fucking swim through solid rock. So, like, we have stairs, but come on, who the fuck is using stairs? Just swim through solid rock, bro. It's not that hard. Anything interesting up here? Perhaps. Oh, I can just feel it. There it is! Ha ha! Alright. What do we got? Something good? Something bad? Something boring? Something boring! Yay! Alright. Where are we going to next? Uh, we probably want that light route up there is pretty good. Maybe. Oh, I wanted to follow those lady statues. Now I remember. And they are somewhere around here? Oh, hold on. There she is. Okay. Cool. Now I am confused why the lady statues also lead here. 
Oh, no, they don't. They lead past us. Cool. How novel. How mysterious. Ooh. That looks like it's got a thing in it. We'll deal with that later. We'll save the big ghost for later. Ugh. Do you guys remember if we said anything for 9k? Because I don't. I think it was just like, hey, if we find something big down here, maybe we fight it. But we can do better than that. We can be much more creative with the nightmares we can unleash in this. I'd be inclined to be like, hunt down Koga, but let's be honest, we're probably going to do that anyway. That really feels like something, doesn't it? Oh wait, we definitely were already there, weren't we? That is... Face the... No. If we have been there, we haven't marked it on the map. Hmm. Well, now I am intrigued. Uh, but it looks like it would be kind of hard to get to. Mm, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Probably something that would behoove a flying machine of some sort. Maybe just a little one. Yeah, uh, well, why not? Oh, I don't think we're gonna make it. Well, actually, we might make it. We might just, maybe, maybe just a little, maybe just a skosh as a treat. Yeah, all right. Get climbing, Link. I want to see what's in this building. I don't think this is uh, the thing that that person in chat said. It might be. I, I think this is something else. Because I don't think you can accidentally stumble across uh, that thing that you said. Let's just put. Okay. Now I'm curious, actually. Oh, just a little high up. And for thank goodness we can take stairs like some sort of plebeian. Oh! Ah! Oh, hold on. Hold on. I've trained for this. Perish. Yeah! Oh, how efficient. All right, let's get, let's get all these nice, friendly dead fellas. Howdy. Howdy, folks. Don't worry, I'll be dropping you off at the Poe statue the next time I'm in Lookout Landing. Complaining about my useless friends and their inability to make progress if I do not make unrelated progress, but it's fine. We're fine. Everything is chill. This is definitely not Minoru's construct facility. This is something else. Kind of just looks like it's, you know, for a, like a launching point. Like you can use this to, is that the place? Yeah, that's, that's where we already were. What is this place? Hold on, are we under something? Oh, I guess I have no way of knowing because <laughs> I didn't get any fucking towers. Oh, it's fine. Cool. Uh, okay, well, maybe we can, maybe? Oop. All right, well, when in doubt, puppies. This might be for a bargain or eye, actually, yeah. Actually, yeah, oh yeah, I see what this is. This is definitely under a chasm on the Great Plateau. So you drop the Bargainer Eye down there, and then you need to fly it over. Okay, I'm up to speed. We'll be back here later, probably. <gasps> Meanwhile, back at the fun thing. Oh shit, there's a balloon over there. Oh boy. Is it time for some sort of Yiga clan trap? I think it might be. 
that's all right. I've got my spiffy pants and I'm ready to get ambushed. Such strange statues. My goodness, who could this fine gentleman be? Researcher, huh? These stone statues have suspicious written all over them. Oh, really? They're not the only ones. Oh, you overheard me, did you? Take a look at this giant stone statue. I like her haircut. I know it's dark and hard to see, but look, there's one over there too. It's not that dark. It seems that each statue points in the direction of the next, forming a long chain of statues. But you're not going to live long enough to see any more of it, are you, Link? You die here. All right, cool. Come on, get it out of your system, big man. Ooh, range on that is pretty good. Ugh, how embarrassing if I actually get killed by the Yiga clan, right? Bro, you gotta stop moving so fast. Great. That was fun. Nice of him to light the place up for me. Fuse something to this nice eightfold blade they were kind enough to provide for us. Uh, ooh. That could be good. Nah, we still got a few of these left. Perfect. Yeah, I guess we could have shot him, but it's just so annoying doing that outside of bullet time, you know? It's just frustrating. Just a pain. Uh, could be fun to... Eh, eh these only ever give me schematics I never use. And I guess bananas. I think all the places where they hide the Yiga armor is in the overworld. Stop it. Stop it. Why is the geometry on these statues so fucking weird? Ugh. As soon as they don't give me a butt to swim up, these statues become impossible to navigate. <laughs> Am I right? Man, what a relatable problem. Fine. Fuck it. Whatever. We can just eyeball this shit. It's fine. Okay, and let's just do a little bit of a yeet. See, it's fine. It'll take us nice and close to that bright boom, probably. Oof. Don't like it when the, uh, like, distant atmosphere effects give you just enough of a hint of the vast cavernous space around you to be really uncomfortable. Are we going in the right direction? Ish. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Oh wait, is this it? Yeah! Yeah! Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah. And hoop. Fantastic. Such a funny mechanic. Oh yeah, welcome to the depths. It's full of the wandering lost souls of countless dead. And you can turn them in for a fun prize at your local bargaining statue. Well, let's for sure get that light route. Oh god, I don't like this at all. <laughs> oh, I'll just jump into this chasm. I'm sure I won't feel hideously uncomfortable about it. not even really spooked out by the dark or by depths, but some combination of it's really fucking dark and it's really fucking open is just not fun. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, cool, we're just in some chasm thing. Hold on, what does this map do on the surface? I ask, like, I have the surface mapped. Yeah, cool, that really tells me so much. I think this means we're under the desert. I mean, we, we're absolutely under the desert. It's just a matter of, like, how fucking far we have to go to... Uh, okay.
Okay. Oh, hello. What the fuck is that? Oh, something about the atmospheric effects make me so uncomfortable. I don't have an explanation either. I don't like it. All right, we have a. We got any flamethrowers around here? You got any more of them flamethrowers? They do. See, we have flamethrower at home. Okay, get in there. You get in there. It's very nice of them to provide me with these balloons, pre-made and ready to rumble. Stop it! Stop it! Okay, thank you. Come on, you can figure this out. Ooh, my battery's not gonna last that long. That's okay, we're fine. We got stamina's for that. Woo! Let me get the Yiga armor, Glory Master Hoga. Ah, uh, we could start collecting that on the surface, I guess. Oh shit. No, thank you. Frack. Link, my man. Ah! <laughs> well, this sucks. Jesus Christ. Okay, fine. Fine. Whatever, man. Excuse me while I heal, I guess. Ugh. We're all mushrooms. Damn. I thought I had so many more mushrooms. I wonder what happened to all of them. Oh, it's fine. We'll just eat some food. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> Oh, so worth it. Thanks. Great. I feel good about this. Alright, up we go. <laughs> Take two. Yeah, this isn't so bad. Why don't you use the Zonai charges to replenish your battery? Because the Zonai charges are much better spent on those gotcha machines you can get in the Sky Islands. We haven't found any because thus far we've only been on the Great Sky Island, which I think only has one gotcha dispenser. Um, anyway, we can do some Sky Island exploration, but uh, that feels like kind of a fun, big summer stream thing to do, so... Okay. Phew! We made it. Just in time to collect some more souls. Come here, you. Yes, yes. Good. Excellent. Uh, there's got to be another light route pretty close by. I might possibly see the Gerudo mine that we're trying to get to, but uh, we'll go the slow way, the way the statues are pointing because they usually put obstacles and sometimes big monsters on the way the statues are pointing. And if we hit 9k, I'm gonna have to fight one of those. And I might do it anyway, for shits and gigs. And like, frog's fangs and stuff, which are just always really useful to have. God. Oh, I don't like the fog effect they put in the depths. It's really freaky and I kinda hate it. But like, in a good way. Because it's scary as shit, but like it's supposed to be. Yeah. Where the hell is that light coming from? Cool. I have no idea. That's how I like it. And let me just hook and just hook. Just a tasty little. Where's the sword? You want to orient based on the sword. Cool. You know, it occurs to me, the Gerudo Desert is probably, short of the ocean, the flattest, like, farthest down area that the map has. Which means in the depths, it's going to be a really tall plateau. Oh, found a light route. Oh, shit! It's the labyrinth. We found the labyrinth. We definitely cannot get inside it yet. But I think we might be able to climb the outside and get that leg root. Possibly even ascend a little bit. Ah, cool. Hey, 
Hello? I want to go in. Can't hurt to climb and get that tasty light root. Get back that one heart that fire keys took away from me for fucking stupid reasons. Oh. Cool. Alright, we're gonna try that again, but less stupid. There we go. Ooh, Farage flies by here? Actually, wait, I knew that. Link, my man. This is not that complicated. I have for sure done this before, in more complicated circumstances. You can absolutely pull this off. I do kind of like that the um, statue roads take you past these fun things that you wouldn't necessarily have an easy time finding others. I mean, all the labyrinths are stacked on each other, so you are unlikely to be particularly lost in trying to find their corresponding, like, mirrors in the sky islands and the depths. It's still kind of nice, though. All right. Fine, whatever. Oh, I hate this, 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 I hate this. Fine, we'll have a little more stamina food. Whatever. Whatevs, man. Bro. Home slice. Just let me up. I can tell by the particle effect that we're really close to the top. So you better not crap out on me, Link. Yeah, we did it. We're so good at this. All right, now we just kind of got to sidle around until we can see that light root again. Because I know it's just cunningly hiding. I see you, villain. There she is. <laughs> Not a fan of this palpable blackness. There we go. Come here, you. Woohoo! Oh boy. That's quite a canyon to our right, isn't it? That could be fun. Ooh, we might be. Ooh, we. Where are we? And which direction are we facing? Because we might be on track. Oh, I hate how low the ceiling is. That really doesn't make me happy. Uh, anyway, we might be on track to find the, um, leviathan skeletons they have down here. You know, the giant fucking snakes. Always fun. Oh, but we were following the statues, weren't they? Well, the statues go down that way. Maybe we can do both. As a treat. You know, something about being under the Gerudo Desert makes me significantly more uncomfortable, because look at this shit! Look at it! I don't like the combination of vastness with a roof. <laughs> All right, get these tasty souls of the dead. Not to worry, fellas. You know, I can relate. I was also dead for a while. Pretty fun stuff, right? Fortunately, they parked me in this thing called the Shrine of Resurrection. Fixed me right up in about a hundred years or so. Absolutely no downsides. One of my favorite, like, angsty headcanons that I do not personally subscribe to, but I absolutely understand the appeal of, um, is the various forms of, like, original Link definitely died, and, like, this current Link, while still a hero and, like, a good guy, is not the same dude. And I saw someone's fan art that was, like, so there's a, um, there's a wellspring under where the Shrine of Resurrection should be and presumably still is, but hidden and inaccessible in this game. Um, and someone, there's, there's a lot of Poe's down there. And someone drew Link encountering a Poe that is the, uh, the soul of the Link that died saving Zelda in Breath of the Wild. Which, again, not something I subscribe to. There's no reason to believe they aren't the same guy. But I just love how sad that is. Okay. We still heading the right way? Oh yeah, we're on track. Oh god. Why is it like this? It's fine. Come here, you. Come on. 
I know you're here to ruin my day. I see you, villain. <laughs> Great, thanks. Where are we going next? Oh, right. Oh, there's an absolute red herring uh, that I fully interpreted incorrectly, but for perfectly understandable reasons in uh, the map, which is as you explore the depths, there are these places where there are these massive gloom-corrupted tree roots, or I guess it might be like gloom in a physical form. Oh, fuck, I forgot these are the unclimbable statues. Damn it, lady. It's fine. Um, so I found those when I was trying to find my way into uh, the Lost Woods. And I was really worried for the health of the Great Deku Tree. Oh, pardon me, man. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Okay, thanks. Um, so when I kept fucking running into these, like, corrupted, um, tree roots, I was so worried. I was like, he's gonna be dead, or dying, or evil, or it's gonna be like in fucking Wind Waker, where- is that the one where he dies? And gets replaced? I- that, that might happen in more than one game. <laughs> Magenta was like, oh man, dude, the Deku Tree's so dead, and I was like, no! He's not! He's my friend! Stop saying that! And then it turned out she was wrong and I was right. I mean, spoiler alert, but like... But every time I saw those tree roots, because I, I had only spotted them in the area of the Great Deku Tree, although they are in other places and I didn't know that at the time, I was like, oh man, oh, how fucked up is he gonna be? So... <laughs> More DLC. Kill the Deku Tree! <laughs> Ocarina of Time, that's the one where he dies and gets replaced by the, uh, the, the little one, right? Yeah. Slurp. Oh god, it's just an infinite vastness. So scary. We are so underleveled. I hope Koga doesn't kill us. That would be very embarrassing. Stop it! No! Too much shit is happening. Guys, come on. I'm literally neurodivergent and like 120-something. Hey! No! No offense, Hylia, but can I have a breather? A break? Some fucking slack, please. Take those. Anyway, back to my statue hunt. <laughs> Goddess Hylia, I'm just a little guy. Oh, but we're gonna get so many light roots. Oh, shit. Hmm. What to do about this guy? I think he's just a normal frog. Oh, shit. We're fine. Okay. All right, let's just have a little snacky. Just a couple. Yeah. Perfect. And, uh... Don't have much in the way of two-handed damage dealers, but we got something. Yeah. Yeah, we can make this work. I know we haven't hit 9k. I just think it would be fun. Actually, here's a more plausible thing for 9k. If I recall correctly, I think that there are gloom hands that spawn at the head of each uh, underground leviathan skeleton. There's also a treasure chest. I, I think that's correct. If that is correct, if we hit 9k before then, I will not do the cheese strat of climbing super high up and not letting it get to me before it explodes. I'll, I'll, I'll fight it. Hey, hey, easy, easy, easy. Fight it like I fought that other Phantom Ganon. Barely, if at all. Alright. I see you, villain. No! Stop that! 
There it is. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Okay. That's fine. We knew that was going to happen. Come on. Get ready to jump. Good. And now... Come on, tilt your head back. There we go. Scary. Okay. Oh no, my stams! That's okay. One more. No! Ah, shit, Link. Come on, man. Stamina, stamina, stamina. Whew! Just in time. Thanks, Hylia. Eh. Oh, shit. Nope. Oh! Oh, God. Uh, let's just, um... Where are my bombs? There they are. Oh, boy. I really thought that was gonna do more. Ooh! Oh, goody. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. No, 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 thank you. Let's just real quick. <laughs> Let's just real quick eat some food. Oh, boy. Eh, a couple mushrooms for good measure. Man, that low stamina is really fucking... Eh. Yep, thanks. Yep. All right, where's the nearest tree? We want a tree. Found one. Easy, easy. I can't hear him. Ah! I've confused him. Yeah, that's right. Keep moving. They say, keep your friends close, and your enemies even closer. <laughs> Alright, Link. We're just gonna hang out on this little ledge real quick. Now! <laughs> quick, while he's distracted! Ha! Ah! Perfect! And now, the death blow! <laughs> Wait, where's the rest of it? Hello? Come on, just wallop me. There we go. Ah! It's so scary, why would you do that? Oh no, okay, fine. Fine. Please just explode. Come on, man, for me. Thank you. I got really sidetracked, where are the statues? Okay, found them, we're good. those. A little bit of that. Wherever all that zonite I knocked off of it went before it started fucking jumping around. Alright, we got it. We're good. It's, see, we're good. We're good. It's good, guys. We're fine. We're professionals. You can barely tell that we were Metroided. And thank you. And thank you. And thank you. There we go. Ooh, and a zonite deposit? Ooh, is it Christmas already? <laughs> okay, god, I don't like how I can see all these light roots from here. I don't, I don't like how much sheer vastness we are facing. It's not scary in the overworld, and you know why? The overworld doesn't have a roof! <laughs> Let's use the shitty one. I should probably come up with some kind of, like, goal I want to do before the end of the stream. Honestly, at this point, uh... Well, it would be nice to get two more hearts and maybe another stamina, but then I'd have to be back on the surface doing more shrines. Alright, goal for now... Where the hell are the statues? Oh, there they are. Okay, goal for now. Goal for now is to, uh... Get to the... Great 
Gerudo Leviathan underground version because I think that's rad as fuck. Um, and then if I'm still going strong and I'm not like super super hungry or whatever, which I might be, uh, I'm gonna go back to the surface, do some of those shrines I spotted, get to another high place and spot more shrines. Yeah. I might call it at a reasonable hour, actually. You know how it is. But I will for sure get that light loot, absolutely. I guess one more Master Koga fight could be- Ooh! Don't like that. No siree, thank you. Not my favorite. Alright, what are you little goblins got going on down there? Huh? Answer for your crimes, your sins. Alright, cool. While they're distracted, quick! So those little goblins eat bright blooms, which I hate. It's so scary and I don't like it. The sky is not just a roof made of gas. The sky is an actual roof. It is uh, shrouded in gas. I do not like the gas effect on it. Ooh! Farash is over there, I think. I think it's Farash. Yep, there he is. I can see his horn. Looks like he's leaving, too. Oh, I don't know if we've got the camp picture of him yet. We haven't. Perfect. That's one for the uh, Hyrule Compendium. Bingo. Cool. Awesome. Okay, where was I going? Oh, that's right. The light route. It's fine. It's cool. Sorry. Sometimes the existential horror takes hold, but we're good. at auto-saving. Oh, okay, cool. Deal with that later. I'll just get these friendly fellas out of your way. Thank you. Nice, nice. Hey, that's a peblet. I see you. I see you, villain. And now... You must perish! Cool. Nice. Anyway, as I was saying... Whew. Do you have agoraphobia? Not usually. <laughs> It's like, infinite vastness of space? Hell yeah. Infinite vastness, but with a roof on top? Endless dread. Not sure why. It's not that bad when it's all lit up. Have we fully- oh, nope, we haven't lost track of the statues. See, there they are. Ah, Dinrail is kind of hard to find. Uh, her route takes her basically north of Elden Volcano. So, like, it's basically just up, back, and forth that whole area. Uh, and then when she's out from behind the volcano, she basically goes down through Deep Akala and then into that one really big um, breach to the depths. So, it's not too crazy if you know where to look but it's uh not the easiest to intuit otherwise i took to just sort of marking on the map like whichever uh holes into the depths i saw them entering or exiting through and then just kind of going from there like all right if i camp this one out for long enough eventually it'll show up oh boy i see a mine with a suspiciously round arena attached you know what time it is! Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, guys. Ah. Hmm. I need to attack more things that have, like, weapons I can take. What to use? So many of you. Stop it. Stop it even more. These things are such non problems if you have any armor. 
<laughs> so dealing with them now is quite disconcerting. What the fuck is that? Oh, no you don't! Why are there so many of you? Fuck you! Ha! How do you like them apples? Great, all right. We're just gonna heal up before we deal with whatever nightmare scenario Koga is cooked up for us. I mean, whoever is in this place. I'm starting to think maybe we were supposed to do other stuff before this, but whatever, man, emergent gameplay. Huh. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. That's probably fine. Hmm. Yeah, okay, cool, it's fine, it's cool. I wonder if we can get to the light route before we have to deal with the rest of this shit. That could be nice. I mean, we're not down any gloom, so it's not that bad, but. Where is the light route, anyway? Oh, right, it's up there. Actually, we might be able to get up there. Let's just check it out. Let's try. Can't hurt, right? Ooh, I already regret this decision. <laughs> it's so dark up here. Yeah. Um... You know, I am positive that they're going to give me some kind of, like, auto-build that makes this easy, but I don't care. I just want to get the save point before I have to fight Master Kogo with only, like, not very many hearts. And then we'll go pick a fight with our old nemesis. Our old mortal fremesis. By far my favorite thing about the Yiga clan, and especially Master Koga, is that Ganondorf neither knows nor cares that they exist. <laughs> it's so fu- it's like... Like, in, in a classic Zelda game, Master Koga would be like, At last, Master, I have- I've, I've been the instrument of your resurrection, and now I can rule as your right-hand man! And then Ganondorf would stab him, and he'd be like, Master Y, I've served you loyally. But in this game, Ganondorf just doesn't fucking know they exist. And you can tell that, because all of their weapons have also degraded. <laughs> oh shit, wait, is Blue in chat? There he is. Hey, we're about to fight Master Koga for the second time. I've been adhering to the strict... Uh, no fucking around with, uh, main quest line. Well, I mostly have been hearing, adhering to, like... I've been specifically avoiding all the stuff we talked about doing in the big summer blowout stream. But, Master Kogo was nowhere on that list. So, I've just been, I've just been having a funky, fresh, good time. So, it's fine. It's cool. Yes, let's get his ass. Alright, got the light route. Not that we really needed it, but I like having a save point. Alrighty. Let's go say hello! <clears throat> it's the right hand, right? So why isn't this working? I don't remember what voice I did from last time. You back there, take over for a while! Huh? <gasps> it's you again! So, Link, you just had to follow me here, didn't you? I'm doing what you did, exactly! But it refuses to work! You tricked me! I won't stand for this. You wasted some of my time, but no more! I'll battle you! I'll beat you! And I'll steal that power back from you! Ha! Uh, prepare yourself! Poof. So gentle. Ah, right, it's this. Am I not locked in this arena? Could I just leave? That's so funny.
Hey, Master Koga. Hey. I love the cool remixes theme, though. Stop it. Ooh, hello, rocket shields. Ooh, that reminds me. Thanks to you guys for making me stock up on rocket shields. I have so many rocket shields. Where is he? Aha, I found him. Ooh, you know what would be funny? Hey, hey, hey. Knock that off. It's very rude. Ugh, you're so spongy. Let's just real quick fuse another rocket to our shield. Where'd he go? Where'd that slippery Master Koga disappear off? Oh, I found him! Cool! worse. Ooh, that was much worse. Patented nutshot maneuver never fails. Okay. Just fuse another rocket to our shield real quick. We're so obliging. Right, where are you hiding, bro? Ah, there he is. Oh, that's cute. He thinks he can escape. Actually, he might be able to. Nope, we got him. Oh, that's so tragic. Oh no, my sword! I'll need to beat his ass with something slightly different. Where you at, broski? Found him. Hey! Whoa! Ooh, that's no fun. This is, oh, dang it. I don't want to be back on the ground. Back on the ground is where I do not want to be. Come on, let me up. Oh, he's firing rockets at me. I gotta fucking move. Well, while well, I've got him, I want him. There we go, see? Maximum efficiency. Um... Yeah, why not? You know, as a treat. Eh, maybe we'll just... Ah. Let's see. Ooh! Thanks for the one-hit protection. Let's just, uh... <clears throat> snack a little bit. I think this would be easier if we- ooh, that's not good. That's okay, we got him. Oop, we almost got him. Oh, come on! Fine, one more. There we go. <sighs> yeah, I think they were expecting us to do other stuff between fighting him the first time and now. There we go! <laughs> he just went fucking fly! <sighs> Blech. This place has too much sand. You're only winning because it keeps getting in my eyes. So I'm gonna let you off easy. Again. That hunk and jump construct wasn't responding anyway. <laughs> Change of plans. <laughs> Operation steal the engine power is over. I quit. I thought that power might make things easier, but it's just icing. I'm after cake. Koga, my man, you already have plenty. We've been collecting a mighty power source scattered across this land. Crystallized charges. And we're going to use them to restore an unstoppable weapon for the man himself. The Magnificent One. Once we do, we'll grant his wish for the end of the world. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, sand in my throat. So, we don't need the power you stole. Our collection of crystallized charges is well underway. And the restoration of the final weapon is close at hand. We've already stripped all the resources here. If you want this empty shell, you can have it. I'm gonna be swimming in crystals at the eastern abandoned mine! Woohoo! There we go! 
Looks like Master Kogue is blasting off again! No way I fly! I like that Link never, like... Link has a specific stance that he does when he's preparing for combat. And I like that he just doesn't use it when he's dealing with Master Koga. <laughs> just like, oh, there he goes. Greetings. Oh, steward construct. Hello. Thank you for driving out the trespassers. I overheard your conversation. You spoke loudly enough that it was difficult not to. The eastern abandoned mine that men spoke of is most likely the abandoned Lanayru mine. It is extremely far from here. You will not find stone guideposts to it in this area. Ascend to the surface, blah, 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 blah. This is, this is or is not this exactly how Joey Wheeler views Kaiba? <laughs> the funny thing is, like, nobody in the Joey-Kaiba dynamic is actually chill. Like, I think Joey's like, Kaiba's my rival, and Kaiba's like, Joey's beneath my contempt. But, like, Joey does live rent-free in Kaiba's brain, and you know he kind of hates that. Whereas I really think that, like... Master Koga is like, as if I would ever forget the face of the man who destroyed me. And Link's like, oh, yeah, the, mm, oh, it's it's on the tip of my tongue. I, yeah, you, boy, when we fought in that ma uh, mountain valley, in that valley, yeah, with the, with the stuff, yeah, boy, that was crazy. Man. Anyway. <laughs> Welcome to blah, 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 Zonite. Designs, hold one moment. Schema stone, thank you. Yeah. Oh boy, a hovercraft. <laughs> we'll meet again, Spider-Man. All right, thank you. I'm curious about one other thing. Do you know what auto build will do if you have insufficient parts? Tell me, <laughs> tell me. Auto build will not be able to manufacture an object if any of its component parts are missing, but Zonite can help with this. You can supplement missing parts by using Zonite to mimic their form and properties. Keep in mind that they are temporary parts created by the auto build ability. You cannot use them for other purposes. Thank you. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted, let's build a fucking hovercraft. See what happens. The consequence is I get a hovercraft. Nobody could have predicted this. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, that looks like a thing that has a treasure chest in it for sure, does it not? But I'm wondering. No, the hovercraft will not allow me to go up that high. Actually, hold on. Before I do that, let's get some Yiga stuff. Ooh, like some nanners. Ah, get that nanner in there. All right, <clears throat> what do we got? <laughs> I'm hungry. All this turnovers, blah, blah, blah. It's hard to find a banana. No. Cool. Awesome. I love that the Yiga are just a bunch of dork-ass losers. It's so funny. They're doing their level best, but man, it is a losing battle, my friend. I guess we could use the recently crafted hovercraft. Oh, we should also talk to that guy. Just to real quick open up his supply of stuff so we can get stuff. We all like stuff here. Oh, it's getting a little late. <laughs> Authorizer verified. Thank you. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Forge construct. Zonite. Oh, wait. Part. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Show me all the things. Uh-huh. Yep, cool, thanks. Okay, bye. Great. Adios. Alright, what do we got? Mm, yeah, we can get some of these. Yeah, we could get all of them, why not? Okay. And we now have um uh okay, yeah. We need seventeen more before we can get two more energy wells. But we can get one of these, and it'll count. Yeah, I'll just take one, thank you. It's a deal. Fantastic. Now, when we go back to Lookout Landing, which we will absolutely do, we will be able to... What the hell is my hovercraft? Ah, found it. <clears throat> we'll be able to get two more energy wells. <laughs> Come on, thank you.
All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not impressed with this hovercraft so far. <laughs> Maybe I just started it off. Maybe we need to start it off here. Maybe this is better. Ooh, there we go, yeah! Hmm. This is feeling like a glorified sled that does not, in fact, hover, which lines up pretty well with everything that we've encountered in the real world that's been called a hovercraft so far. Oh, cool. Yeah, I guess we could have just waited for that. All right, where are we going? Um, I think we are still heading in... Oh, wait, hold on. Let's get back on our hovercraft. What am I doing? Let's... Oh. I left my hovercraft down there? Okay. Oh, you know what? Ow, 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 ow. Floor is lava, floor is lava, floor is lava! Okay, we're good. Anyway, let's get back on. Because I do want to see if we can get the... Come on. You can do it. You got this. Okay. I want to see if we can get the, um, Hebra Great Dark Skeleton thingy. Whoops. I'm sensing a presence. Oh no! <laughs> of all the places for my battery to run out! Alright, well, you know what they say. When in doubt, find that shit. Alrighty. Just gonna scooch on up here. Gonna take a little look see around. Oh fuck, my stamps. Um You know, actually, I think we're good. I think we're gonna go back up because again, we can always warp back here whenever we want. Oh, that's fun. It is right under the Gerudo... Yeah, of course, it's right under Gerudo Town. Neat. Well, anyway, we're gonna warp back to Lookout Landing. We're gonna do that crystal refinery thing, get more energy wells. We're gonna maybe do a couple more shrines. And, uh, yeah, then maybe we will reassess. It would be nice to get 10 whole hearts tonight, but I don't know if that's going to happen. And I really should be getting more stamina. <laughs> I just like having hearts and not dying instantly when I get hit by stuff. I don't know. Not having stamina always, always screws me over, and yet I never remember this. I'm a fool! A damned fool! Hey, you guys don't care about all the cool shit I found in the depths, right? No? Cool. Because I haven't gone to talk to the bird people yet? Awesome. Alright, bye! That's the wrong side. Ugh. <laughs> Why is my life so hard? <laughs> Nothing in this game unlocks until I've done at least one of the main dungeons and I don't want to do that yet. Oh, is Blue going? Hell yeah. Get out there and have fun. Uh, yes, please do let me know if you die. Ah, <sighs> okay. <clears throat> anyway. Yep, thank you. Um, we could talk to Hestu, but since we- What? My behavior's not a threat. I'm just chilling, bro. Oh, that's cute. Crystal refinery. Yada yada. Yes, thank you. Give me energy wells. Thank you. Get producing. Okay. Fantastic. <sighs> How long have we been going for? Oh, fuck. Like six and a half hours. Actually, it's like just like six hours. Okay, yeah, that's more than manageable. Yeah, two whole batteries. Thank you. All right, let's go back to the tower and then let's launch ourselves into space and then let's go check out some of those shrines. Sounds fun, sounds fun. And thank you. Oh, actually while we're here, hello. I'll offer- oh, brethren location. Tell me. 
So I think there's... I Wait, I already knew about that one, man. I think. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. What am I talking about? All right. Oh, wait, hold on. Hey, tell me where all your brethren are. Tell me. Ooh, that's pretty far. Ooh, that's, that's a long way. I like that you can so clearly see the route I took today. Just like a straight line of light routes. Absolute all business. We were just trying to kick Master Koga's ass as fast as possible. Alright, let me in. Adventure! All right, and we want to go this way now. Because we got shrines. Let's see, which of these is closest? I think it's probably... Uh, maybe that one? Maybe. I guess we could probably just walk. Walking is such a drag. We have not yet gotten all the upgraded pura pad stuff because Robbie refuses to move on until I've done a main quest line and the dungeons are really long. So I haven't done that yet. And also, it's, it's kind of a like a between a rock and a hard place situation because I want to, you know, unlock as much of the game as possible so that the freeform adventuring of the... Um, big summer stream that we'll be doing in late August has the most potential for just fun stuff. Uh, and I don't want to do too much noteworthy cool stuff before that. So, like, I don't mind fighting Master Koga, because Master Koga is a joke. <laughs> um, but I do kind of want to avoid doing too much weird stuff that could be potentially fun to do in the big stream or, like, to set as a tier reward. But most of the things we've been considering as tier rewards have been, like, like, shorter things. Challenge runs, like, oh, let's go pick a fight with this one monster. Let's go check out this one weird thing. But the dungeons take a long time. It's like three stages per thing. Uh, they kind of encourage you to do the uh, Rito Village one first. And Rito Village kind of requires that you have... Um, two pieces of cold resist armor minimum, and I think you might need more than that to be able to do it in any, like, meaningful way without just getting one-shotted by stuff. Like, the reason why I'm doing this is because I needed to grind up hearts before I felt like I could do any of the challenge run stuff. Um, and, you know, it's always good to have more stamina, which is part of why I'm just gonna keep doing some shrines until I fully run out of steam and go to bed. Which probably will happen fairly soon. In fact, yeah, I'm gonna set myself a time limit. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna aim we're gonna aim to give this another half hour, and then I'll go to bed on the hour. Hello. Hi. Okay, you must help you search Misko's treasure. What's that? Eh. Legendary bandit. Wow, Misko's unparalleled fashion sense and fun gender. Hid their pieces. <laughs> Who could resist the call of garments like that? The ultimate score. Ah. This is such a <laughs> weird-ass way to do this side quest, and I love it. You have a map? Here's my map. Ignore the fact that it's on an iPad. Or I guess a sh the mm. switch. Here's what I've heard. Ooh. A fairly wild outfit said to fill the wearer with power. A piece from a quite stylish outfit that lets you- Hey, it's climber's gear! A piece from a very snappy outfit said to keep you safe and lightning- Oh, cool! Rubber. That's cute. Snappy. I get it. <laughs> Fashion forward friends. Don't like to battle. I don't climb cliffs. I don't mind being lightning proof, though. Yeah, I know about the great- why won't they let me- yes, I know about the great fairies. Okay. They're withdrawn. Woodland- yep. Ah. Okay. Cool. Bye, Mishi. No 
That's just real quick. We can use more weapons. Okay, anything else? There they are. Hey, buddy. Hello. Cool. Mission accomplished. Uh, anyway, where's that shrine? It's around here some- Oh, I see it. I see it. I feel it in the water. I smell it in the air. Ooh, hello. What are you looking for, man? Oh, Link, we meet again! Have you found any clues as to where Princess Zelda might be? The Impa believes is just, no stop. I know. <laughs> this is really funny because I, when I first played this, I just beelined to uh, Impa, so I had no idea that they just put Kato just around, so that if you're meandering around too much, the odds are good that you'll just run into him. Like how in Breath of the Wild, they'll just fill the area near the starting region with Zora being like, Hey! Hey, you should talk to our extremely handsome prince! He's just over that hill! You should go say hi! He's got a quest for you! Just to make sure that you went to the right place at the right time. <sighs> the thing is, like, it's also a little bit weird that the games always, like, go to Gerudo Town last, but the thing is, I've done the Gerudo Town quest line, and, oh my god, it's a nightmare. You should absolutely do it last. <laughs> Okay, what do we got? Backtrack. Oh, this is gonna be a recall shrine, isn't it? Oh. It is. I can smell it. Come on, it'll be fun. Yeah! Oh, by our powers combined, I can avoid climbing a staircase that I could have just climbed. A staircase, but that's okay. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Um, uh, hmm. Is there a torch in here somewhere? I feel like I need one. Yep, there it is. Thank you. Cool, all right. I think we'll just deal with that later. And there we go. Perfect. Mission accomplished. <sighs> Recall is so fun. It's absolutely so busted. And I love it. Thank you. Please let me move out of being on fire range. Oh! Already this is exciting. Alright, let's see. Well, that feels <laughs> almost too easy. Oh, I get it. Looks to me like we gotta be clever about this. Where does this thing unlock? Door number two. I see. And now we must unlock door number one. Yeah, okay. I smell what you're stepping in. Thank you. All right. Like, there we go. I like that Recall has basically infinite range and no cooldown. That is the sign of, like, game developers that are confident in how this fucking mechanic works. If you're riding around on a dragon back and you see a rock fall, you can do recall on that rock. And that rock will just, like, go. And that's really fun. There's basically just a render distance beyond which you just can't, you know, things just stop existing so you can't recall them, but... It's bananas. Yep, yep, thank you. Great, that's one lorb down, three to go before I'm willing to go back to town minimum. Great, 
Okay, where else are we going? Got the blue one, and we got the, uh... All right, I think all three of these might be shrines. Might be. So let's just follow the pins, baby! One of them could be a geoglyph. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Ooh! And while we're here... Well, you know, that is pretty con- Well, it's marginally conveniently located. It's, uh... Mm, it's not that bad. It's not that bad! Yeah, let's do it. Whatever, we'll cross this bridge, we'll get that stable thingy. And, uh... Yeah, that'll give us access pretty close to that tower for when we are doing the tower run. And I suppose we could get a horse. But, ugh... Why would we do that when we could just run the whole way? Come on. Come on, buddy. It's fine. Chill out. Perfect. All right. Adventure. Hey. Oh, cool, a banana trap. Let's leave it. Stop that. Come on, let's get back to business. That looks like it might be important. We'll deal with whatever it is later. Ooh, a well. Eh, I'll deal with that later, too. I like that this hill has always been called, like, Raru Hill. But as of last game, it was like, oh, like that guy from Ocarina of Time. And now it's like, wait, like that guy? The first king of Hyrule, Raru? Pardon me, fellas. You chill out, bro. Bro! Bro! Alright. This horse is more trouble than he's worth. Sorry, bud. You're free now. Free to roam the wilds. Oh, this part's cute. Oh, let's get rid of that purple mark, because it did not mark where I wanted it to mark. There we go. Ah, here we go. Ten apples fix wild horse? Eh, I wasn't keeping that horse anyway. Why would I when I have Hans and Ganonhorf? Rise and fall. Oh boy, I feel like this is going to be another recall one. Maybe. Right, what do we got? What does this do? Oh yeah. It's all coming together. <laughs> Simplicity itself. Okay, what's next? Hey now. Hey now. Easy, easy. Okay, back we go. it us very cleanly. That was nice. What does this do? Ah. Uh... Okay. I think I see what we're doing here. No, come back! Okay. I don't know if this is as intended, but... I never leave a box behind if I can ever... Oh, yeah, I don't need to do that. I just have this box I can use. Fine, whatever. Stop that. <sighs> Here we go. Man, the 
absolute bananas physics stuff you can do with this is so funny to me. So thoroughly unnecessary, and yet I'm so glad it's there. Kiraru and Sonya. Oh, this part's cute. <laughs> Every time you come out of this shrine, that rock falls. It makes no sense, and I love it. Work. Thank you. What do we got? Yep. Perfect. Just what I needed. <laughs> Alright, while we're up here, let's see if there's anything we can spot that's particularly interesting. The answer is no. Let's leave. Okay. <laughs> we got so many fucking things marked on the map. Well, let's go towards whatever that one is first. It's closer. <laughs> Why are you guys talking about how epic and swagtastic this is? We are on like power six and a bit, and we started this late, and it was already a weird day. Swagtastic is not how I would describe my current vibe. Ugh, guys, I still have a bunch of rocket shields in reserve. We only used, like, one of them. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, we only used, like, one of them. We still got two rocket shields. We're fine. It's fine, guys. Is it playing combat music? I can't tell. It is. Eh. Nothing to worry about later. Oh, wait. Why am I wearing my pants? What am I doing? Knees out, knees out. There we go. Much better. That's how you know I'm off my game. Alright, what do we got? Come on. Sneaky, sneaky. Ha 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 ha. I see you, villain. Perfect. The Ren is shrine. Okay, there we go. Do you need your light pants still? No, we do not need the light pants. It was simply my complacency that allowed me to keep the pants. Okay. Jump the gaps. Oh, is this another golf thing? Well, let's see what happens. Go, my son. Always important to start with a control group. Okay, cool. I'm up to speed. And one more. Thank you. Uh, yeah, maybe just a little bit further. Just a little to the left. Just a little. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Perfect. All right. Uh, take two. Brilliant. What dynamic action. Ooh, another one? You shouldn't have. All right. Let's see what we got with this one. Oh my, a second gap. And what's that? Treasure chest. Surely not. Quickly. 
soft. Ah, at last! The gap it is too far. But no! We need not despair. Ingenuity is our ally, as it ever is. Come on! If I can figure it out, Link, my man. Just because my coordination is suffering doesn't mean yours has to. Perfect. Thank you! And let's just get this. Whatever it is. Ooh! That's good at this level. I mean, that's good anyway. All right. Now. <laughs> Perfect. Simplicity itself. I think. Cool. Exactly what I wanted to have. Just as planned. Okay. And let's just. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> As I was saying. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Nothing but net, kind of. Fantastic. Anyway, as I was saying, let's get that lorb. <sighs> I just don't know if we should do stams or hearts. It's always good to have more hearts. We also really want more stamina. They're both very useful. I guess that means there's kind of no losing. They're both useful. Yeah. Yeah, let's look on the bright side, and I'll do the easy thing and just get more hearts, because that's how I like it. Whew. All right. Let's get out of here before the various things hiding in these various tree trunks make their existence my problem. Oh, what was that thing I was just saying about how we need more stamina? And let's just... Okay, we're good. Ooh. Ah. Cool. We already had that one marked. All right, let's go deal with that. I feel like... The thing is, like, objectively, I know this isn't true. Because this is about as many shrines as there were in the previous game. But it feels like there are fewer shrines in this game and that they are more sparsely placed. And I think it's just because about 30 of them are in the Sky Islands. Which means that, technically speaking, there are fewer of them on land. And also some of them are in caves. So there are fewer of them just on the surface to just find and spot. Oh, all right, maybe just this one core. Aha! I see the villain. Mm hmm I'll backtrack. Just for you, Korok. Just this once. Perfect. Glorious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. -ha -ha. Cool. Okay, back to business. Anyway, yeah, I like that, um, it's, there are basically the same number of shrines, but they're a lot more devious, and I love the way they've reworked shrine quests, because it's not just, oh, you know, find this spot, solve this riddle that Cass gives you, and then good luck. It's just like, hey, you found the pedestal that's supposed to have the rock in it. Now go find the rock! And I just think that's cool. I think that's neat, and I like it. There's another one over there. We already have it marked. Good job, us. Now let's just... Oh, shit. Okay, it's fine. Excuse me, sir. Wow, that oh, I'm hitting him with a torch! No wonder it's not doing anything. Well, at least we got that out of our system. Meh. Ow! Rude. Bro, how 
was just smacking you around. You didn't need to do me like that. All right, anyway. Um, while I'm here. <coughs> no, stop that. Thank you. Perfect. Now I have my true ultimate weapon back again. <sighs> All right, let's get this shrine. Let's go back to Lookout Landing. Trade those orbs in for a heart. Bask in the glory of how many shrines we did in this one day. It's like almost all of them, so that was like 20, right? That's not bad. And considering that it still doesn't really feel like we've made a dent in the bulk of this game, I'm feeling very justified in my decision to, uh, to front load at least a little bit of this. <laughs> you know? Like, man, there's a lot of game in this game. Whew. Ooh, rock elevator. Might deal with that later. But yeah, the uh, hard part about planning out the big stream is like how long does it take to do anything in this game is kind of kind of a hard question to answer <laughs> it's like if i just cheesed all the geoglyphs now like the first time i did that when i was flying blind and i wasn't spending technically my entire day doing it, it took me like two days playing and i was also doing a bunch of other stuff and like main quest line things and the game plays a little bit better when you're sort of doing a balance of everything. I think I mentioned this earlier in the stream, that, like, when you're just trying to rush through grinding up any one sort of thing, the scenario is a little bit unbalanced, so you end up like, oh, I've got, like, a million bows and arrows, but I'm really running out of, like, weapons. Uh, or, like, I've broken all my shields, but I've got weapons for days. Or, I've got a million shields, but I'm out of weapons. Um... Or, like, I'm really running low on bombs, stuff like that. Like, when I was uh, farming Gleox, it was basically just like, okay, cool, I'm always out of arrows, and I literally cannot, like, I've been, like, bouncing from settlement to settlement, buying all the arrows they have, and it will get me through, like, some of this. You know, that kind of thing. So, because the game plays better when you have more of a balance of, like, what you're trying to do. So it's a little bit hard to estimate. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Great. I love doing the lava levels. All right, come here, you. Um, anyway, it can just be kind of hard to uh, estimate how long the game's going to take because, boy howdy, a lot of shit in this game. In a good way. But boy, it's definitely in a way. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine! The lava can only hurt you if you touch it. It's cartoon lava rules. Alright, come here. Oh, I guess I can just pick the whole thing up. I keep forgetting the power of my ultra hand. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Cool, that's enough. That's enough, guys. Great, good job. I remember this being really annoying, but I think maybe I was just stupid. Of all, let's just put you in there. And second of all, let's decide what to do with this. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I can absolutely cheese this, can't I? Yeah, I definitely can. Cool. Yep, and <clears throat> as I was saying, oh yeah, here we go. Okay, great. And the fact that, like, they don't stop you from using other abilities while rewind or, like recall is going is bonkers and i love it they didn't have to do that in fact it's kind of wild that they did that 
All right, is this really going to be that simple, or do I need to do something else? Yep, we need something else. All right. Uh. What the heck? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, no, no, brain is not working. That's fine. That's cool. We can figure this out. I believe it craves symmetry. Yeah, well, nice little smack on the bum to get it moving, see what happens. Hmm. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted to happen. This, since you can't play responsibly with it, let go! Thank you. Great, alright, you kids have fun. We are going to cheese this in a completely unrelated way. I knew, like, I've definitely done this shrine before. But I absolutely cheesed it then, too. And I'm not sorry, because if they didn't want me to do it, they shouldn't have given me the tools. Some of us, our brains work in the right, precise engineering way to make a paddle boat out of some ridiculously long pieces of wood, and some of us were born to stick long handles on things and then carry them places you weren't supposed to be able to reach them. No, come on. Why are you rotating so weird, bro? Lean it real careful, like. Perfect. <laughs> As I was saying. <laughs> and now. Cool. All right. Have fun with that boat thingy. It's <laughs> still going. Still trucking along. Thanks for playing the jingle. I really feel like I earned it. I'm just gonna assume that uh, we might need to book it. Nope. Cool. We're good. Hehehe. <laughs> Ah, there we go. The fact, like, in, in Breath of the Wild, whenever you completed a shrine like that, and the, sh the monk had to be like, your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial, and it's like, bro, you can be mad, it's okay. You've been waiting for 10,000 years for me, and I didn't even do your puzzle right. But, like, Raru is such a chill guy that I really feel like he'd just be like, ha ha ha, oh, that Link is a delightful youth, Zelda was right about him, and then just move on with his life. Like, he made a fucking 152 of these shrines. I don't think he's gonna be too butthurt that I didn't build his stupid boat. Whew! Okay. Let's go back to Lookout Landing. Trade those lorbs in for a heart. And then, for possibly the first time in stream history, I'm actually gonna end it when I said I was gonna end it. I know, I'm scared too. Who knows what the future will hold with this precedent we're setting. <laughs> I'm glad you guys liked the paddle boat situation. I know that there was a solution to that. Couldn't fucking tell you what it is. Maybe if I was running at 100% and I hadn't been streaming for six plus hours, I could probably figure it out. 
But no. It's more fun this way. Sometimes you just gotta let your hind brain be like, I know. What about Big Stick? And then you're like, Big Stick has never steered me astray before. Let's get a heart container. Yes. Thank you. And... Bloop. Whew. Mission accomplished. Woohoo! Thank you, Hylia. Actually, while I'm here, this guy's had like a side quest thing pop up every time I passed him. Oh. Lake, you've got great timing. Yeah, monster control. Oh! No. Tell me about the monsters. Ah. Okay, cool. Yes, I would like to ask about other large monsters. Cool. We'll deal with these later. It's kind of cute that they're starting with monsters that you definitely oh. fought if you played Breath of the Wild already. Uh. So that he's just kind of like, oh man, it's well beyond us. There's no way we could do it. And Link's just like, uh huh. -huh. Yep. Okay. Great. We'll deal with those later. Next time I stream. Oh. 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 All right. Let's just get these side quests oh. out in in and logged. Ah, that doesn't look like it's giving me side quests. Yada yada. Yep, okay. Alright, cool. Bye. Whoo! Alright, let's get back up to where we are at. Huh. And as is our custom, let me climb up a nice high place. Come on, Link. Focus. Link. Come on, man. Thank you. Thanks for indulging me, bro. Okay, well, um... Oh, let me save real quick. <clears throat> okay, well, thank you all so much for joining this extremely impromptu and last-minute, uh... Hell exploration, plus getting just a fuck-ton of shrines, so we are slightly less susceptible to getting one-shotted by literally everything in the world. Um... I might do another one or two of these before we do the big proper stream. Uh, just to get a little bit more prep work done, line up a few more things. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll uh, let you guys know if we do that. I think it'll be cool, and I'm excited. Um, I probably need to eat food and then sleep. Some of you should probably do the same thing, but uh, thank you for joining. This is, as always, extremely fun for me, and I will see you the next time I do one of these. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs>